Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. and the Maconis. Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mekon. advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Young man. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah. That's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! We uh. may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Oi, you two! We've been ordered to pull back! I'm leaving! Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> The enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah! Ha! What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away! No point dying in some godforsaken field! Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape! <laughs>
Looks like the Mekon are hell-bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this! But it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Mumka, you dirty. Now, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. Huh? Ah! Oh. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumban, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots. I'll just come and get the Monado when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! <laughs> If you think the Hobbs, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off, you are sorely mistaken!
Mechon M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Ah, oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! <sighs> Shulk! Ah! Right. It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the Mechon armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and topple it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, but thanks to you, we got its shell. Everyone in the colony is gonna be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. <sighs> oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Here we are. I'd better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right. See you later.
What the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. The colonel's gonna explode. Crashing the mobile artillery into a house. How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots. Move it. Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district, double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you, and you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers! Same old Colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. Shulk, how are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture. But it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... unlock the Monado's power... Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most civilian Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Shulk. It was the Monado. It was 
controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dunban, thanks. finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. Hey, Fiora! Dixon! Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. You're mine! You're 
mine. We almost didn't make it. The Manado. It's the only sword that's effective against the mech on armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bionis. The same Bionis that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. Shulk! Fiora! Mm. This is great. It tastes so good. Really? It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. The breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this always. Huh? The debris siren. Strange. There hasn't been much falling lately. <sighs> there might be more on the way. The anti-air batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. I'm, I'm just... Hurt, are you? The Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Ryan? Sorry, I, I came to ask a favor, but you weren't here. And I saw the Monado and. I know I'm here a lot, but even I need fresh air sometimes. Is your body still feeling numb? We have to be very careful with the Monado. It's not a toy. I know, man. I just wanted to touch it. Didn't know it would do that. Sorry. But is it true... the Monado really can't cut people? The pattern in that circle. 
Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's... a symbol? Well, if I can find a way to increase the number of symbols, I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But... why were you more worried about a machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just... I just explained why. That's not the point! Uh, s sorry. Look at you, worthless without the Monado. Until I've scrapped each and every one of you! So, of course, I want to get my revenge! Your blade, it did not cut deep enough. No! Shulk! Shulk! What on Bionis happened there? Ryan. Fiora. Are you okay? Does it hurt? No. Ryan, when you held the Monado, did you see anything? You know, like a blue blade made of light came out. Same as just now. I don't mean that. A feeling like time had stopped, and then... Time had stopped. So, was it only me who saw that? That sounds strange. Is it another Monado thing? Who knows? Anyway, no matter how good a sword it is, that's what happens when you hold it. Looks like Dunban really is the only one who can use it. I won't let my brother use it ever again. Not after what it did to him. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, the point is I'm fine. To be honest, this has happened a few times before. I've been researching the Monado for a long time. Shulk, don't act as if this is nothing. Look, don't worry about it. Anyway, Ryan, what did you want to ask me about? Oh, yeah, uh, old Square Tash has gone and put me on punishment duty. Fancy tagging along? Punishment? The Colonel was pretty angry today. Did he hit you? Well, whether he hit me is neither here nor there, really. Although, actually, he did end up hitting me. And that ain't all. He made me do a thousand squats and sit-ups. Whoa, nasty. Yeah, and now I have to go all the way to the Magmel ruins and back. So you have to go and collect the ether cylinders? That's the one. They're used to power the mobile artillery. Looks like the damage has been repaired. They can't move without the ether energy. And it seems like the fueling station's all out of stock. Is the mobile artillery that big machine that crashed in the residential district? Yeah, probably. You know your way around there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah! Knew you would. Hold on. The Magmel ruins are in Tefra Cave, right? I heard that there's a male lizard nest there. I couldn't take it if anything happened to Shulk. He's delicate. Not like you, Ryan. What are you on about? I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. But... Okay, I got it. I'll make you a promise. Shulk won't even get a scratch. A promise doesn't mean much coming from you. <laughs> she don't trust me at all. No, she doesn't mean it. You will be needing the transport cases, right? Fiora! <gasps> ah! I'm coming along as well. I'd feel better going with you boys than sitting at home worrying about you. So, let's get moving. <sighs> I knew she didn't trust me. Looks like it.
Are these the Magmel ruins? Haven't you been here before? Nope. The Defense Force often uses it for training, but I come here to do research. It's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. There are monsters around here that use Mechon parts as armor. Was this built by the Mechon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind of people made it. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. Right here. Thanks for the help, Shulk. I'll start collecting them up. You two hold on a sec. It's full of ether cylinders. Hey, why do we have to come all the way here to get them? Isn't there an ether cylinder fueling station in the colony? Well, refining the ether takes a long time down there, and sometimes cylinderization fails. And there are so many cylinders here for us already. It's more reliable than making them ourselves. Right. And Colony 9's anti-air batteries and mobile artillery are standardized for these cylinders, so they can be used straight away. I see. You know, this place is in good condition considering it's ancient. It might be that there's some form of technology being used to preserve it. It's just a shame we don't understand its secret. Shulk? But I'll solve it one day and show you. If it's just technology that someone created in the past, it's not incomprehensible. We'll come to understand it one day. Don't go trying too hard. We can come and get ether cylinders whenever we need them. Besides, it's a good place for Defense Force training. Yeah, so good that you didn't even want to come here without Shulk to back you up. Anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Shh, be quiet. <gasps> Are they Mechon? I don't know. But it looks like we'll have to destroy them. In that case, just leave them to me. Are you okay? I'm fine. How about you? I'm all right. Thanks to you and Ryan. What on Bionis were those? I've never seen anything like them. Could they have been Mechon? No. I think they were something left by the civilization that built this vehicle. They didn't seem like Mechon to me. But why did they only show up now? I don't know. But they were probably built to protect this place. They might have been activated in response to something. But I don't think that something could have been us. Please, let's go back. I don't want to be here anymore. Me neither. And we've already got the ether cylinders.
Huh? What's going on? Listen, what is that? That sound. <sighs> In the sky! Oh, oh, it's a... This can't be! No way. Macon! How? Didn't my brother destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the Macon? Let's get back to the colony. Come on. Hey, this siren, it sounds different. Yeah. Isn't this siren too? It can't be. Oh. Oh. Mecca. Oh. One large Mechon! Ten carriers! And an unknown number of units emerging from the carriers! You idiots! Why didn't you see this lot until they were right on top of us? But sir! We thought the Mechon had all been wiped out! What's happening? Respond! Huh? Anti-air batteries one to three. Why aren't my targeting systems online? Don't let a single one into the colony! <laughs> Assemble everyone who can fight. Evacuate the civilians to the shelter. Get a move yes, on! Sir. Fire at will! Seem unlike it. You slackers, fire! Shoot it down! people. It's horrible. Is Dumban okay? Fiora, go and check on him. Oh, okay. Heads up, Ryan. If this thing wants to fight, let's give it one. Chance. 
It's not that easy. We've disabled it, but only for now. It'll reactivate soon. Where's Dunban? He's gone. I can't find him anywhere. What? He ain't fit enough to face these things. Ryan, let's get to the lab. The lab? Of course. The Monado's there. Exactly. The Monado can take out Mekon. You blasted Mekon! You think you can do what you want in our colony? The Colonel! The guys! Ah! Men! Don't give up this position! <laughs> yes, yes, sir! Run and I'll kill you myself! <laughs> what? what the hell are you? A mech on with a face! <laughs> Grin at me, will you? Even dent it. Colonel, the guys. I'm gonna destroy every last one of those damn Mekon. Shulk, the entrance. No, we'll never get in there now. Wait, let me think here. Ryan, Fiora, there's still the mobile artillery. Right. If we recharge it with those ether cylinders we collected, we can blast our way in. It's in the residential district. Great. All right, this is it. Time to avenge the Colonel and the boys. Defense Force fought hard to protect the colony and all of us Homs. Now it's our turn to repay them. Please, Viora. Uh, uh, uh. Shulk! Ryan! Don't look so worried. We'll just get rid of these ones. Shulk won't get a scratch. Okay, I believe you. Go now, Viora! Ryan! Huh? You take care too. Of course! Looks like she trusts me after all. I told you. That was a close one. You were never cut out for this stuff. You go. I'll take care of things here. You're too out of breath to persuade me. Tell me about it. Ah. 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 
Done, Dunban. You didn't waste any time on them Mekon. Shulk, where's Fiora? The residential district. We said we'd meet her there. Looks like we'll have to take the long way round. All right. Then we cut through the commercial district. Yes. any more of the Monado. But I must! I don't have a choice! <laughs> Ryan's right. You can't go on like this. Shulk! Dunban. Hey! <sighs> this time... It's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! <sighs> What's happening? the Monado. What was that? Shulk! More company! Ryan! Right. Ryan! Dunbar! I got your back! Shulk, do you feel all right? I'm okay. But there was something strange. Just now, it was as if I could see into the future. Is this another power of the Monado? See into the future? What are you saying? Uh, are you certain, Shulk? Yes. I see. I remember Dixon saying that the Monado had a hidden power. Could this be it? What? Don't think about it now! Just believe what the Monado showed you and fight! Got it! Oh, the 
should cut through Mekon with ease. What? What is that light? Other Mekon don't have that. Could... Could that light be why the Monado has no effect? Shoot! Right! Get down! Stay back! I'll take it from here! No! You can't take any more!
back here! No! Fiora. Ah, oh, the breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Hey. Have you been to see Dunban? Yeah. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Even without the Monado, he's the strongest person I know. Uh... Shulk, how are you holding up? I'm fine, but... you... I will shed no tears. Huh? A year ago I felt the same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. While I was being brought here on that stretcher, they were all I thought about. <sighs> but I decided I would not cry. Everyone who died in that war had something they wanted to protect. Family, friends, loved ones, their home. So they fought to protect them. And we won. No matter how painful, no matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumban. Shulk, Fiora would tell you the same thing. She wanted to protect us. Or rather, she wanted to protect you. And you're alive now. So, I will not cry. Okay. Remember the gift of life that Fiori gave you, and treasure it. I... I can't say that I understand. But I hope to, someday. That is all I ask. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. Treasure the gift of life that Fiora gave you. He's one of a kind, that Dunban. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will pursue that faced Mekon. Shulk. They attacked our colony. Killed Fiora. I will find that Mekon. Find it and destroy it. Destroy them all. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry, yeah. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd be the one to say it. So you agree? Of course, man. I'm just surprised you came out with it first. You thought I'd try and talk you out of it? That's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? Yeah. Something like that. I thought you'd give me a hard time. In my head, there are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunban said. What about the other one? It keeps shouting, make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. And it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. Sure, it ain't my voice in there. Might be. 
It's a bit of a loud mouth. There you go, then. <laughs> <laughs> So, when are we heading off? Right now. Perfect. Right then. Yeah. Yourselves, boys. As soon as this heals, I'll be right behind you. And then we will seize our destiny together. It's all very well going after that metal-faced Mechon, but shouldn't we have some kind of plan? How about checking out Colony 6? Colony 6? The only other Homs colony left. Colony 6 is on the way to Sword Valley, where there's supposed to be a Mechon base. If that's where they came from, maybe the people in Colony 6 saw something. Good point. They might even know something about that metal-faced Mechon. So... We go past the Magmel Ruins and up through Tefra Cave. Then we should arrive at the Bionis Knee. Yeah. And if we can get to the Knee, it ain't far to Colony 6, right? Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Colony 6. This door. It was closed when we came past before. But it's open now. Maybe it was programmed to open up in case of mech on emergency. The way to the Bionis knee is just ahead. You ready? Yeah, let's go. An ether lamp. Don't traders use these things as guideposts? Yeah. 
We can follow them to the Bionis Knee. Okay. But if armed traders need guideposts, it must be pretty dangerous in here. Let's keep our wits about us. Definitely. What the? Look at the emblem. They're traders from Colony 6. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan, their injuries. They weren't made by no Mechon. It was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mechon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children. Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. But why'd you say that? Oh, no reason. Ryan, shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. That was way harder than I thought it'd be. I'm just about ready to collapse. Let's take a rest. If the monsters in here killed all these traders, we need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. Shulk, my turn. Awake already? Didn't sleep a wink. Oh, I still feel like I just did one of Vanguard's drills. <laughs> hey. Why do you think the Mechon attacked? Are we just food to them? Or what? Did we do something wrong? Sort of reminds me of the battle between the Bionis and the Mechonis. I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, it's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. Mechon killed Fiora. Yeah. You know what? I'll never forgive them. I don't care what their reason is. Hmm. When it happened, the Monado showed me that Fiora was in danger, but... I couldn't save her. It's not your fault. Just because the Monado showed you some future, that don't mean you could do anything about it. You did great. You fought them off. I couldn't have done that. <sighs> you know, I've been thinking about it. Why you can use the Monado, I mean. Dixon told me. You're a survivor from the Monado expedition team that went out 14 years ago. There was a blizzard or something, and your mum and dad died. And then Dixon found you and brought you back. That sounds right. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember anything. Is that why you do it? Why you're always helping Dixon with his research and trying to figure out the Monado? Maybe. Part of me does see it as something to remind me of my mum and dad. But mainly, if it really is the sword that the Bionis used to kill the Mechonis, like in the legend, I want to work out its secret. That's the real reason. I've got it. You were chosen by the Monado. What? Chosen? Don't you see? Not even Dunban can handle it. It ain't chance that you can and he can't. <laughs> I'll take the next watch. You get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Night ride.
Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Ah. It is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? I... The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Shulk! Uh, Shulk! Uh, uh, Ryan! Uh, uh, Shulk! Shulk! Ryan! What are you playing at? Give us a hand! I'm sorry, Ryan. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Was I dreaming? What's with you? We'd better get a move on. It wasn't a dream. Was it a vision? What should I do? I could tell Ryan. But... I don't know. What on Bionis are those? Monsters egg sacs, I think. But it looks like there are Mechon parts inside as well. Man, what kind of monsters are they? Probably some type of Arachno. <sighs> Ryan, get back! <laughs> Ryan! No. If that vision comes true, then Ryan, I've got to find him. Don't give up, do ya? Ryan! I've got to hurry. If I can get up there, I should be able to reach him. Up. 
Right, no! Not that way! Ryan! Shoot! Figured out these things will try and ambush. Let's do this, Shulk. Right. Right. I'll hold off the big ones attached with the Monado. You deal with all the little ones. like the Monado works on more than just Mekon. I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. Ryan, I just realized something. Huh? The future I see, it isn't set. I think it's more like a warning. A warning? Yeah. A warning about what will happen. What will happen if I don't do anything? Or if I can't do anything? so I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You've got my vote. And if you really can do that, I think Fiora would have liked it too. Yeah. Right, let's get moving. We're nearly at the Bionis knee. No matter how many times I see this, I never get used to it. On the other side of those clouds. Yep. It's our enemy. Maconis. Hmm. Our enemy.
If we just came up the bionis shin, then this must be its kneecap, right? Yep. Which means Colony 6 is up ahead. Looks like we can climb up there. Great. I love a good climb. Oh, Shulk, look over there. Smoke? Maybe someone's got a fire going. Hope they're cooking up something good. It's hardly a good spot for a barbecue. Come on, let's take a look. Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver? There's a boy! He's being attacked by monsters! You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? Well, what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. Shulk! Over there! Ah! Ah! You all right, kid? Who are you? That can wait. Go! Get out of here! Leave these guys to us! Oh, okay. Let's do this. Ready when you are. Okay, it should work now. Great! You saved my skin. My buggy short-circuited, and then there were those monsters and... Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it will be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Um... Where are you two heading? If you've got time, you should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here. But they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. 
if you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Now, let's make a move. Juju! Where have you been? <sighs> Juju! <laughs> Don't tell me you were... I've told you a thousand times. We're not ready to leave the camp yet. But I thought... Juju! Sorry, Sharla. That gear. You must be survivors from the Defense Force. Is Colony 6 okay? Did Gaddo make it? Hold on. What are you talking about? We've... we've come from Colony 9. Colony 9? They saved me from some monsters. This is Ryan and Shulk. Oh, so you're not from Colony 6. Thank you for helping, Juju. I'm his sister, Sharla. I told them they could rest here, with us. Did you now? Well, all right. I suppose that's only fair. Did something happen to Colony 6? Actually, we're heading there ourselves. Colony 6 has been... Our home. It's been occupied by the Mekon. No. I'll tell you about it inside. Follow me. Yeah? We had already fought off the Mekon a year ago, at the Battle of Sword Valley. It left us with a false sense of security. The Colony 6 Defense Force didn't even notice the approaching Mekon. By the time the air raid siren sounded, a swarm of Mekon had blackened the sky. They ate people and burned our buildings. Me and Juju dedicated ourselves to evacuating the children and elderly. I don't know what happened next. It's just like what happened to Colony 9. They attacked your colony as well. Yes. It's good that you managed to evacuate so many. We have a Tharon, the Colonel, to thank for that. Him and Gaddo. This Gaddo? He would have been my husband by now, if not for all this. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Uh... We can't lose hope just yet. I'm certain Gaddo and the other soldiers are alive. They're still fighting. I can feel it. Um... Hmm? You're on your way to Colony 6, right? You bet. We're up for some revenge. I bet we can even get your colony back. There you go, showing off again. If anyone can do it, it's you two. Could... Um... Uh, could you take me with you to the colony? Juju! The people here need us. How many times do I have to tell you? But you heard, the Mekon attacked Colony 9. That means a load of them have left Colony 6 already. It has to. <sighs> Even if that's true. No, especially if it's true. We cannot expose the camp to any more danger. So, you don't care what happens to the people in the colony? How can you be so heartless? Are you that scared of the Mekon?
Oi, kid. Ryan! You ought to know how Charlotte feels. Watch your mouth and have some respect. I'll go and make dinner. Maybe I was too hard on him. Shulk? Ryan, you really remind me of Gaddo when you get angry. I, I do? Gaddo's taken care of us ever since we were young. I always saw him as a big brother, really. But he was more of a father to Juju. He'd call him kid whenever he told him off, just like you did. I don't think I'm ready to be someone's old man just yet. Wait, Shulk. Did it happen again? Yeah. You had another vision. Oh, no. No! Juju! <gasps> the buggy's gone! He's going to Colony 6 on his own. <sighs> Stupid kid! We have to hurry. Something bad's gonna happen. What did you see? A deep valley. Everything's engulfed in flames. There's a black shadow. It kills Juju. Is it the Mekon with the metal face? Yeah. Where does it happen? Is it near Colony 6? I'm not sure. I think so. Let's get after him, Shulk. Hold on a second. What was all that about? I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. The future? That's not possible. That's what I thought too. I still can't explain this, but that vision I had will come true unless we stop it. So you're telling me Juju's in danger? Believe it or don't believe it, that's your call. But I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for Shulk's visions. Juju. Oh, okay. I can't say I believe you. But what have I got to lose? I like the way you think. Charla, you're... What? No, nothing. Oh. What are you doing? Let's go and find Juju. When you talk like that, you sound just like Gaddo. That's how I know it's not worth arguing. What am I, some kind of Gaddo substitute? I think it was Charlotte too. I saw it in the vision. But I can't stop her coming with us. I don't know how I can protect her. But I have to do it. I will change the future. Charlotte, do you know which way Juju went? There are quite a few ways to get there from here. But he's in a buggy, so I think he'll take Ragwell Bridge. Ragwell Bridge? It's not far. It's a really old bridge built around the time Colony 9 was founded. Okay. Let's make that our next stop. Sounds like a plan. Charlotte, you stay back. Leave any monsters up to me and Shulk. <sighs> what? You think I can't pull my weight in battle? I've got field experience as a medic. If you get hurt, I can use ether to patch you up. Nice. I'm always getting roughed up. You'll be a big help. Come on. Who put this barrier in the way? Oh, uh, now the front suspension's all twisted up. Looks like I'll have to walk it. They're all cowards. I'll show them all.
Hey, Shola, look. It's Juju's buggy. Juju! What is it? It's Juju! Shulk, is he okay? Uh, uh. Tell me! There's a mech on! It's taken Juju! Oh. When? I'm... I'm not sure. But I don't think we've got much time. Um, you said you saw a deep valley, didn't you? Yes. Oh, there's a place like that just up ahead. And it's even on the way to Colony 6. That must be the route Juju's taking. You sure? No other deep valleys round here? Not as far as I know. Well, Shulk, let's move. That has to be where Juju is. Is this the place you were on about? This is it, all right. At the end of the road, there's a path to Colony 6. But there's no sign of Juju. If my vision was right, he should be around here somewhere. <sighs> I'm sure he would have gone along this road. I just hope nothing's happened to him yet. Any chance he went up that way? It's not safe around here. I doubt Juju would go off the beaten track if he could avoid it. Got it. We'll search along the road. appeared on the Monado. Can I save her? Of course you can. Shulk! Its tentacles could come out from under the ground at any second. One false move and you're done for. Wait for my order. Ryan, you got my back? Of course. Leave it to me. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. That's right. And the light swirling around us. That's the Monado and all. Shala, let's move.
Up there, let's go after it. Right, above, let's get it.
glad you're okay. <sighs> hey, looks like we changed the future. What's up? Well, it's just that that can't have been the mech one from my vision. Yeah, weren't it supposed to be that one with the face? I guess we changed more than we expected. Shulk? No. Something's not right. <gasps> Juju! No! It's not him at all! But this one's got a face and all! I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. What? It spoke! Ah! White metal face scarpers. I thought you'd have to be this big scary monster. But look, you're just a pathetic little kid. Come on, let's see what you got. Open the floor, hit me. ones that have faces. But... I can still see what it's going to do. Just like before. Nice tricks you got there, Pitsqueak. Darting around the place. That's the Monado's power. Won't matter, you're still flesh and blood and I reckon you're nearly done. Behind you! Shulk! Leave these to me. Don't take him out. Yeah. Got it. Now! Right! It's just bouncing off him! That was fun for a while! But now I'm bored! Charlotte! Time to finish you off! Shulk, look out! <clears throat> Looks like my time is up. Uh. It's your lucky day, little boy. But that luck won't last forever. Huh? <laughs> I'll keep hold of this brat. If you want him back, you better come to Colony 6. But you'll have to be quick. I'm feeling hungry. You! You're gonna pay! <laughs> I can't wait to grind you all into dust! Shola! Shola! No! <sighs> Oh, 
Juju. <sighs> Gado. It's only been a year since the Battle of Sword Valley. How? How did the numbers grow so quickly? Are their numbers too great even for you, Gado? Atharon. Medic Shala, here are your new orders. You and Juju are to ready the evac ships. You will be in charge of the evacuation. Uh, but... You must realize the ships can only carry so many. We must stay behind and fight to protect those who remain in Colony 6. Uh. I'll be fine. I'll be able to keep my mind on the battle, knowing you're safe. <sighs> Promise me. Sharla. Promise that you'll meet us outside the colony. I... Just make sure you get out of here alive. Yeah. I promise. Don't worry. Gado, a promise is a promise. And until I see you again, I will protect everyone. Now, let me protect everyone! Shala! I keep them real safe inside my belly! Shala! Juju! Juju! Where are you? Hey there. Are you alright? The sleeping princess awakes. Had us worried there for a minute. How long have I been out? Huh? How long have I been unconscious? Four hours, I'd say. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Hold up. Mind if we go with you? You're gonna bust into their base, right? We want a piece of them too. Really? Truth be told, we were gonna leave without you. But the thing is, I get roughed up a lot, and we don't know anyone else who can use ether. I... Thank you both. It's been a while, and it's just... I never imagined I would go back to Colony 6 like this. I'm sorry. Lost myself for a minute. We can get to Colony 6 from the valley where Juju was taken. It's this way. This is Colony 6. It's like a fortress. Did people really live here? So much has changed. It's only been a month. We'll find Juju and then smash some metal. Wait! We can't just rush in. We could enter through the mine. Mine? There's a massive ether deposit under the colony. The first settlers here built right on top of the mine. That's how we got our colony. 
The mine is like a network of tunnels. It's much more complicated than the colony streets. They can't have figured it all out in the space of a month. So... She means it's the best route if we want to remain unseen. You're catching on. Great. So how do we get in? Through the drainage outlet. It's just up ahead. the noise. A Macon. I can't believe they've taken the mine too. That means the defense force and residents are... Oh no, Juju! Keep it together, Sharla. Don't start panicking now. Ryan! You said to yourself, they can't have seized the entire area, right? I bet you they're holed up someplace safe. Juju is alive, and we're gonna find him. That's why we're here. You can count on us. <sighs> yeah, yes. It'll be fine. Ryan, Shulk, thank you. An ether rifle? Gado! Charlotte, wait! Gado! I know that voice. Medic, is that you? Go! A Theron! That's our cue, Ryan. Oh, yeah. 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 Gado with you. We have much to discuss. You'd better come with me. Sir. So, Juju has been taken by the Bronze-Faced One. Sir, what about Gado? Gado is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone?
Gatto and I planned a surprise attack to set everyone free. But we failed miserably. When I woke, Gatto was nowhere to be seen. Only his rifle remained. But he is alive. I can feel it. We may not be joined by blood, but he's like a son to me. I'd know if he were dead. Oh. Some of the people in Colony 9 got eaten. Ryan! Sorry. I forget I said that. They don't kill Homs right away. If that bronze-faced one took him, we still have some time left. Are you sure? Boy, that blade was once Dunban's. I'm not sure why you have it, but we're going to need its full power. You can count on me. We're heading for the central pit. It's where they take all the homes they kidnap. If Juju's alive, that's where he'll be. Gather your things, we're moving out. You say something, Shulk? No, no. It's nothing. Forget it. Hurry it up, slow coach. What's wrong? Jojo! Gado! This is for you! What can it mean? This is for you. Is Juju already dead? Or is he going to be killed? Is that why Atharon... But then, what does that mean? If we keep moving, is Atharon really going to die? No! What's wrong, Shulk? This battle is for my people. If you can't handle it, drop that weapon and head home. That's not it. I... It's just that... Out with it! Listen. Maybe we shouldn't just rush in head first. What? We got this far. I think we should observe them and plan our attack afterwards. You insolent! We don't have that kind of time! You don't know a damn thing about these machines. I have observed their movements. I've planned this attack for a month! I know full well what's going to happen to my brothers and sisters. It's just... We're going! Fall in, medic! Sir, what's got into you? I... A vision again. Don't tell me another death. Yeah. I knew it. The Shulk I know doesn't just chicken out for any old reason. This vision, was it like before? Kind of. I saw an underground ether river. And a Tharon. Hmm. Huh. An ether river. You know what? That sword lets you see the future. All that power, and you still keep getting it wrong. Better to use my brain than my fists. Shulk, I may rush in head first, but at least my head's useful for something. Okay, okay, I get the idea. I ain't done yet. You're useless on your own, Shulk. That's why we're here. Ryan, I... 
Next time you have a vision, you tell us. We bear the burden together as a team. Ah. Uh. You have a vision you don't like, we'll change the future together. Got it? Got it. What was that? Say it like you mean it. I got it, all right. Next time I'll tell you. He's right, Shulk. You two saved Juju once before. I know we can do it again. I believe in you. Thanks. They're right. We'll change what happens. Anyway, I didn't see Juju and the others dying. There's still hope. We're here, the central pit. Where are they all? I don't see anyone. We'll take that lift. I'm ready to mash some mech on. Yeah. Juju, a Thoron, just hold on. Juju! Juju and the others! Tell me where they are! <laughs> you want the brat? Well, he's right here! Juju! He's still alive! But don't think he will be for long. As for the others, well, I just couldn't help myself. I ain't the all up! <sighs> Welcome to our banquet hall. Tonight, the main course will be... You! <laughs> and if I've still got room, the brat will make a tasty dessert! <laughs> Murderer! I'm Zord, your host tonight. Zord? So you have a name? That's what they all say. Can't say that I remember it myself. What's he talking about? Oh, yes. It's good to see fresh meat on the table. These colony folk just didn't fill me up. Gado. The others. <laughs> Come on, boys. Dinner's ready. I swear I won't stop until I've scrapped each and every one of you! Get behind me! Right, Charla! We are Homs, and we won't just stand here, waiting to be eaten. The Monado! 
do you think that that thing could get me? How about that? Not metal face. You have to try harder. It's the same as before. The Minato is useless against this guy. Want some more, Minato moron? Take this. At this rate, I've got to think of something. Huh? Hey, where did you come from? You feeling hungry, huh? <laughs> Chew on this, scrap for brains. <laughs> Oi, now's your chance. Save Juju. Atharon, don't do it. Hurry up! At this rate, even if we save Juju, Atharon's gonna be... <sighs> you see a vision you don't like? We'll change the future together. Got it? Change. The future. Yes. That's it. Right. You grab Juju. Shulk, what are you doing? Oh, man. You think you can stop me? No, I don't. But I can do this. <laughs> Let's see if that Mekon body of yours can withstand an ether river! Juju! Wake up! Shala! Leave the rest to us! Hang in there, you old fool! Fall, you damn machine! Change our destinies. Atharon, you won't die here. Not today. You 
cannot defeat me! Get out of there! Quick! It's giving way! He's gonna... It won't be long now, my friends. But not before. Gado! This is for you. This is for the people of Colony 6. <laughs> but I... This isn't supposed to happen. Atharon! Gado. I'll see you before long. <sighs> ah! Ah! Huh? Ah, that was close. Up? My arm's about ready to drop off. Thank you. Save the thanks for Shulk and his vision. As soon as I saw an Ether River, I knew this had to be the place. Juju, you're safe now. What did I tell you? You and me can make anything happen. Yeah, you were right. A boy who can change the future. I stand corrected, young man. You've done a great deed here today. I didn't really do anything. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Tell me, your vision saved me. But what of the others? What happened to Gado? Uh... I see. Sharla, take this. Gado would have wanted you to have it. Time to head back to the camp. We'll need to get Juju some medical attention. There's a freight elevator on the next level. From there, it's an easy route out of the mine. As long as it's working. We'll know that when we get on it. You make me laugh. Well, I'm right, ain't I? You're absolutely right. We need to move on and stop worrying about every little thing. Come on, guys. Good. Works perfectly. You see? What did I say? We're all impressed. <sighs> hey! Why have we stopped? I don't know. But I think we're about to find out. <sighs> Not him again! This one doesn't give up! This is our chance, guys. Come on, Charlotte! Yeah. 
When you became like this, what do you mean? Time's up, Pipsqueak. I'm gone! Sword! Get back! We smashed that bronze idiot. Now the people of Colony 6 can rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, uh, Are you okay? Shala. I thank the stars you're all right. Where are we? Just outside Colony 6. Thanks to Shulk and Ryan, we destroyed that thing. But not everyone made it. Oh? I'm so sorry. Shulk? Ryan? I didn't mean to cause any more trouble running off like that. Forget about it, kid. We settled the score. Thanks. Yes, but there's still no sign of that Mechon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. Hope I'm not interrupting. Oh. It's him! Metal face! Not just him, a whole bunch, and tons of them look like Zord. Pathetic. After all that talk, Zord was crushed by worthless maggots like you. Oh, this one can talk and all. I can talk all right. And I got a good memory. Fiora, get out of there. Get out! <laughs> the screams were music to my ears. My claws slid right through her soft flesh. Like a hot knife through butter! <laughs> Talk all you want. Because those words will be your last! The Monado! Yeah, it's been a while, but you should know by now, the Monado can't stop me! Shulk! Shulk! I'm gonna... Anyway you slice it, the Monado ain't gonna work, boy! Didn't work then, won't work now! Now, time to cut you down to size! Nice. Now, let my bit beast. Uh... 
done that? How did you... Sorry to have kept you. Looks like we were just in time. Eat this! Thunderbolt! Ooh. Backlash! I'm with that man! You got a nerve! Ah. Ah. You got a nerve! Ah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. let's focus our efforts! Understood? Okay! There's no end to them. Where are they coming from? I can take the smaller ones, but the rest will be like fighting Zord over and over. If only the Monado would work on these things. Focus, Shulk! Look out! Ryan! <laughs> Look at you all! Look at this, metal brain! Is that it, Grandpa? <sighs> Running out of ideas here. You may be able to block a projectile, but let's see if you can block this! <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel to be such a pathetic hero? You okay, Dunban? Oh, does it hurt? I bet it does. It hurts because the Monado won't work for a bunch of losers like you! What are you? Save it. I ain't interested. You little maggots need to learn when you've been stepped on. That light. Everyone, fall back! Now! Won't change a thing. I'm gonna wipe you out once and for all. <laughs> what the? A telepia! Now's our chance! Oh, you'll pay for that! How are you? We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done. You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora. Another one. Enough of this. You got lucky, brat. Next time, your head is mine. You're not getting away! Get back here! Shoot! Ryan, let it go! You've got to be kidding! He's the one who killed Fiora! Know your limits. We'll get another chance. Fine. That thing saved us. Whatever it was. You did well. But what of the boy? Ah. Well then, there is much to be done. I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. One year, if my memory hasn't left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait. Dixon. Dunban. You're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colonies. 
What's a pretty young lady like you doing hanging around with this bunch of slackers? Dunbar, Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did anything. He's right. Save your thanks for that giant bird. What was that thing? A telethia. A mystical beast that protects the sleeping Bionis. Though I've never heard of one ever venturing down to where us Homs live. Strange. A telethia? So that's what it's called. A mystical beast that protects the Bionis. So, what's your plan from here? Follow that metal-faced machine, I presume? What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress, right in the valley. Tactically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley. The very place where we made our last stand one year ago. So it's settled. Bash down a fortress and smash some metal brains. Easy, Ryan. Shulk? There's somewhere else I need to go first. But what could be more important than... Wait. You saw another one. Saw what? What are you on about? These visions sound pretty handy. Well, out with it. What do you see? I was somewhere very high up. I was fighting at the peak of a huge tower. Fighting Metal Face. I heard a voice. And then the Monado's power was unleashed. His armor instantly gave way. The Monado doesn't work on Metal Face at the moment. But if that vision comes true... A tower, huh? Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember... a huge horn. That's it. As I fought Metal Face, I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been. But I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say it was built by the ancient High Entia race. The High Entia are real? I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis? It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the High Entia. The High Entia, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well-traveled. <laughs> and it's all for your future. Day and night I've searched for new lands, met new cultures, and gained knowledge for our people. The life of a wandering old fool. A lonely one at that. <laughs> Stop your whining. You do it because you enjoy it. And you make a tidy profit. Who asked you, Dumban? Well then, Shulk, what's it to be? We'll head there. There are alternatives. We could abandon the colonies, find a place the Mekon will not discover and live in secret. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Scared I'll get hurt? No way! We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet! I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And that miserly old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. Show me a mech on and I'll slice it in two. I might not be in peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on us, Dunban. Miserly old coot. That sword is forged from mech on armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. 
We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right. But we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is right at the top of the Bionis leg. So we'll have to head around the waist. Through a place called Sartal Marsh. Follow me. I've never seen anywhere like this. You see? This is why I've been saying you need to get out of the lab every now and then. We're aiming to get inside the Bionis. We can get to the upper regions from there. Wow. I've never thought about going inside the Bionis. The closer we get to the top, the more monster trouble we're gonna run into. The only things I venture this far in are the Nopon merchants and curious types like me. You really know all the fun spots, eh, Dixon? <laughs> you want to get to the top? Then this is the only way. We'll push on, no matter what. That's the spirit, Shulk. This lamp, it has a very strange glow. It's a remnant of the High Hyentia. They've hidden themselves away in the upper reaches now. But at one time, they controlled this whole area. Good for them. It's the perfect place to get some shut-eye. The lamp will keep the monsters away. We'll be safe if we rest here. The breeze feels so good. It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. to change it. The future. Has it been that long? Dixon. Fourteen years since I found you on that mountain. Seems like yesterday. I owe it all to you. If you hadn't found me that day, I wouldn't be here now discovering the world. Forgive me, Shulk. Sorry I couldn't save your folks. Don't be. Now I think about it, that was when I found the Monado as well. This might be crazy talk, but maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher plan. I don't remember much at all. But I know that my mum and dad left me it. The Monado was their final gift to me. At least, that's how I used to think of it. That's why I want to discover its true power and help defeat the Mechon. But so far, I've just been creating piles of Mechon scrap. So you don't just want to study it in a lab after all? This sword... There must be some way.
finally decided to join us, Shulk. Sorry, guys. I didn't sleep a wink. Right then. Time to move on. How far now? We'll be there soon enough. The high end of your ruins are just ahead. The upper regions are through that entrance. You gotta go through Magna Forest first. Prison Island is at the Bionis Head, just above Magna Forest. It pains me to say it, but this is the point where I turn back. I must see to the survivors, and I'm also very concerned about Colony 9. I understand. Thank you for everything. I might have said a few things I shouldn't have back in the mine. Forgive me. No, it's okay. I owe you my life, young man. I'll never forget it, heir to the Monado. Medic, will you stay with them? I... I want to help Shulk. The Mekon must pay for what they did. And I'm sure Gado is still alive somewhere. If he is, I have to find him. Find him for me too. Good luck. Sharla, I want to go with the Tharon. Are you sure? Yeah. I've never seen anything cooler than Shulk smashing Mechon with the Monado. But I'm just slowing you down. No way, kid. You just need to shape up like me. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Compared to you guys, I know I'm pretty useless. But that's cool. Because I know what I can do. I'm gonna go back to the colony and help the survivors rebuild their lives. You'll do us proud, kid. Good luck, Juju. Thanks. Shulk, Ryan, keep Sharla safe for me. Dixon, are you leaving too? The Mekon may be gone from Colony 6 now, but that doesn't mean we've seen the last of them. When they launch another attack, and they will, Colony 9's gonna need my help. Yeah, I guess you're really needed at the Colony. This ain't the last you'll see of me. You should be all right for now. Look after the Monado. You can bet on it. We won't let the colony down. You'll make us proud, Shulk. You, on the other hand, need to buck up your ideas. How else are you gonna protect Shulk? <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Dixon. Good luck. See ya. Huh. Can't say I feel so good about deceiving these kids. What's that you say? Oh, just mumbling. Forget I said anything. pushing you at all. Down! Ha <laughs> ha! In your hands, 
The lift don't work. Looks like it's been broken for a while. We'll have to find another way up. Another way? You don't mean climb up there. We may have to. Come on, you can't be serious. Why'd someone build a lift that don't work? No complaining. Let's start looking for a place we can climb up. About. Ryan. Ready to go, Shulk? Yeah. But just hold on a minute. What is it, Shulk? It's about the Monado. I'd like to ask your permission to use it a little longer. Why ask me? The Monado was your sword. But... I need it to achieve my goal, so... <laughs> <laughs> Don't sweat it. You are far more skillful at wielding that thing than I ever was. Keep it. It's yours. Besides, I have a new sword. That old coot had the decency to forge this for me. 
I owe it to him to make the most of it. Dumban. You fought your way this far. That is proof enough that Manado has accepted you. Don't take my word for it. Believe in yourself, Shulk. Believe in myself? Never lying down. Never giving up. That's our pride and strength as Homs. And we have to make sure those metal monsters know it. You're right. Time to move, people. This prison island Shulk saw in his vision isn't getting any closer. What is this place? It's giving me the creeps. Hmm. At a guess, I'd say we're inside the Bionis. <sighs> what is it, Shulk? Oh, nothing. It's just that it feels like the Bionis isn't really dead. Huh? Wait a minute, Shulk. If the Bionis starts moving around, things won't look good for us. Let's just keep moving. Right. Face Nemesis, your frame is complete. All that remains is the soul transfer. That damage... Does a weapon exist that can melt face armor? How? Lady Venea, Master Egel wishes to see you. Understood. Tell him I will see him when this face is complete. Acknowledged. I have fulfilled my duty. You and only you can bring about a new age on Makonis. No, the entire world. My mistress, Lady Maynath.
Chevalier, withdraw to the Lopon village and let us handle this beast. No, Eisel. Do you really expect me to leave you, run away and save myself? Permit us this once, Lady Melia. It is our honor and our duty to protect you with our lives. Do not fear for us. Flee. I will not. I cannot return to the capital with this monster still standing. Turned up the heat. I've never seen such a dense forest. Me neither. How much further? This must be the back of the Bionis. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. You mean go on in this heat? I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. We'll have to search for the best route. Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Rhine's stench. Shala? Hmm. We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Father! Weak, weak and pathetic! What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done! You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! A silver-faced Mechon. And who was that girl? These visions show me people and places I've never seen. If only I could find out what they mean. We could use them to our advantage. Look over there. A rope bridge. It looks Homs made. Not Homs. Nopon. Though a lot of them have settled in our colonies, the Nopon are originally native to Machna Forest. Do you think they'd know the way to the Bionis head? Uh, I can't say. But walking around in circles isn't going to achieve anything. Our best bet is to look for their village. Over there. Hey, are you okay? You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. 
A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need water-type ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water too, so I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. Unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? How did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh! What are they? Alvis! Get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself. From the left? Then I'll go. It is a Telethia. Telethia? They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly...? There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Albert! Stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? Suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? 
The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. You see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely its spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence, of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis. How do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk! We looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. 
Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alves, who are you? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here, then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold... I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone, and you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe.
This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, Bird Lady. Welcome back, Bird Lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? My pleasure, my pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird Lady here. <coughs> Melia back. Bird Lady back. Bird Lady? My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrificed their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a hum hum need of me? They require safe passage to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these hums are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <sighs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... who are you? The Monado. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia. The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia, we can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. 
Why then? It's just... I... I want... Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the knock-on chief to interpret for me. I... would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mechon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Oh, yeah! In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face Mechon, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Chief Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. You do know we're listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please excuse me. A Nopon hero? Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. May I introduce... Herapon Ricky! Oh, what's that? Oh, get off me! Oh, to you! Uh, oh, uh, uh, right in the... Take this, bubble! Oh, that's good. Uh, Introduce to you this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! <laughs> oh. <laughs> New Hom Hom friends, meet this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! Ricky, live to serve! Uh. Pond, you say. Not sure where you'll come in handy, but the more the merrier. Sure. Are these Telethia as strong as they sound? Yes. They're quick as lightning and can read your mind. The mind reading giant bird? No problem. I can see their movement through the Monado, but even that's not enough to get the better of them. And we're going up against the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Erith Sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target. But don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumban's right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. Ricky has been of the Dino Beast, what you refer to as the Talethia. Be safe, my Hom Hom friends. 
Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. The dino beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum hum clever. Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. Big attitude for a furry footrest. Dino beast is big and scary. Great. That'll come in handy. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries? Ready to go! Come, new friends! Ricky's adventure begins! Ricky, you do know where the Teletia is, don't you? Of course Ricky know. Melly, Ricky here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky know it go to place with ether crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. Ricky, why are you the Hereupon? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you? So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend wrong. Chief choose by instinct. <laughs> by instinct? Why friend surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the Hereupon. Can't argue with that. But he is kind of... compact for a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promise to forget my debts. So Ricky like being Hero-pon. What is this? Ricky never see before. This not Ricky's Machna. Ricky never see before. To think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me the Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were merely the spawn. So why is he so sure of himself? Is it confidence, or a trust in something? Yes, it is trust. He trusts in the power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. I see. <gasps> Stick together, everyone! Beast, it has Ricky imagined! The Telethia. I take this chance to bring vengeance to my brethren and fulfill my duty. Show, sure, I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right! Melia! <sighs> Yeah! She's nifty with that stuff! I knew it! She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells! I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one of them. Shulk! Right! Shala! Protect Melia at all costs! On it! Right! The 
as I do. You can definitely do this. Worldly smash. Regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Never, Melia. The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge and the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by and let another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you, hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. Ready? Yeah, Dumbass! Spirit Fresh! Shadow 
Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way... Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural, instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mechon into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Oh God, Garin, Damil, Eisel, are you there? I did it. It's dead. Did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, it was mostly you. Dino Beast! Hereupon Ricky ready for round two! Hey! hey. A fight over already? No, oh, Ricky not no! I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little Hereupon. <laughs> oh, Ricky brave! Ryan also a little brave. Ricky, happy, happy! Here upon Ricky, be proud! Here upon Ricky, tough guy! Here upon Ricky, bestest! Look at him. Barely hit a toe and he gets all the praise. Oh, let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides, won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, your little ponds ate like ravenous Oluga. It set Chief Dunga back quite a bit. No pawn, no frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. Our hero-born slayer of Dino Beast will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels and bringing peace to the lands of Bayonis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. It was prophesied many years ago. Chief lying. Chief make a prophecy one minute ago. Oh, Ricky mad. 
Ricky, go with these people. For the sake of the village, you must go. My instinct is never wrong. <gasps> Do not worry, Ricky. Your little puns will be taken care of. <laughs> Dadapon stomach rumble. Dadapon need food. Dadapon need food now. Dada, Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Friends, meet Ricky, wifey pon, and little pon. You have got to be joking. Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. Not puzzled. Just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. Ricky will! Okay, Oka! Ricky! Happy to join friends! Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. Now you can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same hom hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These hom hom fought valiantly in aid of our village, and a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. The chief has spoken. You should depart the Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. Melia, what will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Aerith Sea. Of course. We'd love you to. But I must warn you. Aerith Sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bionis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it. I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Prison Island? Dixon said the same thing. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island, but I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial sanction. Imperial sanction, eh? That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entia. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Sanctions? Empires? Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? Long before we Homs built the colonies, a group of so-called royal types, or imperials, ruled our lands. Think of them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dunban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Ryan. I might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end -tier folks? You are so... Oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Imperial capital. We'll see how easy it is to see this Emperor. My promise was to be your guide. I will not break it. Melia, isn't that the... 
the shortcut to Aerith Sea. Yes. What is it? Friends, jumping bull! <laughs> All go to Erith! Jump? In that? You're nuts, Furball! You have nothing to fear! This will take us to Erith Sea. Who would have thought Erith Sea was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. Might do. Haven't decided yet. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. How, how dare you, you clown? It's okay, Melia. We're not strangers anymore. Well, I... <sighs> you were right. So then you'll listen to our story? Yes. Tell me why you are here. Basically, it all started when... I see. I had heard about the Mechon assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? Is that? You are looking at Prison Island. So that's Prison Island? Yes. And that is the Imperial capital, Alchemoth. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? I do not know, and I've never had the need to. You don't know? It doesn't freak you out? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. You will need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the capital first. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. But I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Onwards to the capital. Still. What is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. 
Those look like anti mech on defense systems. Who are these guys? Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Melia, are you...? Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Lady Melia, he says. Shulk, you thinking the same as me? Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> More of these guys. Report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. You say the Second Consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, First Consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness... Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne.
Melia Antiqua, first princess, has returned, your majesty. Raise your head. Your majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them, but it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend passed down through the generations of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a Chosen One. However, if the Chosen One is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the Chosen One. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. I... Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things. But take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I am to be crown princess. Yes, you are. The ministries of research and records are united in support of his majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorethea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our divine emperor but the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes, but a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. 
However, if the Divine Seer were to intervene... The Seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. And if you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Alvis! What are you doing here? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah! Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir! I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. The life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your Eminence.
What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Shulk and Ricky go help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Here upon Ricky is here to save the day. It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Yes? And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your Majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to... Melia? And the young man. Shulk. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. Uh, the First Consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard.
I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, your majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Oh, looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk, Ricky tired. <sighs> Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. Yes? Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess. And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua. It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. <sighs> her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become your crown princess. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. 
That mask. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melly not like other bird people. Melly like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting like that? We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Oh. Who are these guys? Shulk. These are Inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. Kallion, Melia is in danger. She'll be killed at an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? 
That's why we have to find her. Now. Your Highness. As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy, Ryan. But Dumban. This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem? Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break, and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this mechon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of mechon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. talking about this is the tomb defensive measures prevent intruders from entering you will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb one thing before we enter Alvis you can see the future like me I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family my visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer, then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the Ether, and your will is made reality. 
I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. Cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited... Well, what does this do? Don't touch! of Antiqua. Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. Do not mistake me for a living being. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. I do not understand. But... I do not suspect any falsehood in your words. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. I am not real, but I do not lie. Joy? What do you mean? The results of the gene analysis show Holmes' gene integration of 80%. Estimates suggest evolution within eight generations. Our wishes are almost fulfilled. Our purpose, as decreed by the Bionis, is linked to our genetic sequence. We have spent millennia analyzing sequences to free ourselves from the curse. Only a certain gene set will unlock the mechanism and set us free. I still do not understand. It is of no consequence. I grant you this seal. Is this...? It is you who will rule the High Entia, and likely be their last. Revealed ancestor, I... Go forth, and rule, my descendant. <laughs> so... 
So the spirits look favorably upon you. <gasps> Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. Mother's subject? No impure child of the Second Consort has the right to refer to the First Consort as Mother. I... I... A filthy Homs half-breed has no right to the throne. Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Rhine. Friend not clever touching button. Oh, I'm with these guys, Rhine. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? This time it is your fault. Precisely. Well... Um... Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. That is a big ball of... something. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> it's not attacking us, at least. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that! Another defense mechanism. At a guess, we're looking at the tomb's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. Anyone would think we're not wanted. Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. Hmm, somebody mean Ryan! Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. Hit the tomb! 
meet your death. <sighs> Take my hand! Summon! Ah! 
It's not over. Telethia! Kill as many of them as you can! Keep clear. The Telethia is destroying itself. Almost bought it. Alvis, thank you. My pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk, whoever that was is gone. So, they escaped. Shulk. Everyone, I thank you. You saved me. Ricky, smiley, smiley! Millie, all safe! All thanks to Hero Born! Oh, oh. That's not how I remember it, Cheese Ball. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The Order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion, 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Oh, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Kallion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child, I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Harm's bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. Ricky and friends help save Melly. Ricky very happy! We're all relieved. But something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the Crown Princess? Shouldn't Callion have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. Callion is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callion go along with this? It's a mystery. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! It's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. Shulk, 
Forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come, a ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mekon. Yes. The Mekon devastated our homes, and we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire, two titans, the Bionis and the Makonis, fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Harms? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died, killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself. And now, they disturb the ether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. But why is this happening now? This is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, Descendants of Antiqua, when the ether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs and heed the sword's return. Trap its power and assure eternal prosperity. All life born on Bionis affects the ether. The Mekon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute this fact. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mekon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the High Entia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. Which is why the Mekon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mekon. They must pay for what they did. Then you will have seen him too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know, but our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. Shulk, allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. It would be my honor.
The Telethia are on the move. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. What of the faces? Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea? Yes. And there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> no matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mekon with a strange group of arms. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. Wow! Take a look at that! A high end to your air show! Bird people fly higher than not on birds! Oh. <laughs> they got some neat tricks. Shook! I think that's Melia up there. By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, am honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I be deemed unworthy of this calling, or fail to protect the ancestors or the Bionis. I promise here and now to throw myself on the mercy of you, the people. Most majestic. That fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. No, it's not like that. They're one and the same girl. I think. And what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? Hmm. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a Telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. Brand spanking you! 
Nothing like an ether change and a new paint job. <laughs> we don't need her. Look at me. Look at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. <laughs> I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Right, but we're still no closer to that murdering-faced Mechon. Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. I've seen us there. It must be true. Shulk, man. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. Melia's crown princess now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Rhine, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Dundon right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. Hey, the adults are talking, Pops. Ricky want to see Melly. Ricky think Melly's sad too. She might like the distraction, all those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes! You came to see me. Ricky's friend, Melly! Oh, Melly look amazing before. Oh, Ricky's so proud. Really? It all happened so fast. What a stunning garden. The arrangements, the fountain. When the colony is up and running, can I steal some ideas? My late mother adored this place. Late, Mother. But I thought your mum was... Her Highness, the First Consort, is not my birth mother. Members of the Imperial family must take two wives. One Homs, one High Entia. My mother is the Second Consort. I am half Homs, half High Entia. Melia. Melly live here? Yes, Ricky. Since I was young. I cannot walk outside as you see me now. So this garden gives me much relief. What's wrong with how you look? Who cares if you're half arms? You'll always be you. Their way of thinking differs from ours. Different ways. Different morals. So that's why you wear a mask in public? Yes. Shulk, in less than an hour there will be a banquet in the palace. I would like you all to come. Oh, Ricky's so hungry, he could even eat smelly oruga. <laughs> There'll be plenty to eat. Finally, some decent grub. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. What's on the menu? Any high end your specials? Do not embarrass me at this dinner. Expectations lead to disappointment. We are talking about Ryan here. What? That's the last time I sit next to you, then. <laughs> I have much to prepare. 
I will have someone call for you later. We can't wait. <sighs> Is there something wrong? No. You are a funny one. It can't be. Shulk! It's... the Emperor. Father! Another vision! Shulk, what did you see? On that tower. On Prison Island. <gasps> what does the siren mean? Mekon! They're coming! <gasps> There's only one course of action left. <gasps> we will not waver from our destinies. Father! Callion, take charge of the capital's defenses. I will go to Prison Island. Tell me! What happens to my father? He... It follows my last vision. We're on Prison Island. Metal Face and your father are... Prison Island? Why would father go there? No! I must go to the palace. I must stop him. I will go to the audience chamber. Wait, Melia. We're coming too. Brother! Where is father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's... So father has gone. I... Callion! The Emperor has proceeded to the island, alone. For the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware. Alvis. ...of what will happen to him, and what he must do before then. You saw something. I did, during our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia. We must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. His fate was decided long ago. No! Shilk, we're going. But Dunban... Respect? Destiny? We don't need rules to tell us when to save the people we care for. You too, Melia. Don't give up on him. The Emperor, your father, is going to die. Dunban! There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? We go to Prison Island.
This slide infestation is beginning to bug me! <laughs> Unmanned craft built by ancient High Entia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? Ginormous things at 12 o'clock! Ancient creatures that were sealed within Prison Island. They have us in their sights. They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this. Prison Island is just ahead. Do we need to use the transporter? We do. But first, we must unlock the seals. Seals? We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then, a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move, everyone. Mechon! And something we've never seen before! Big fish coming! Don't give up! Ah! Ah! 
Can anyone explain what this thing is? I believe it is one of the oldest creatures on Bionis. I have only seen them as fossils, discovered around the capital, to find that they were trapped on Prison Island. Was it protecting the island? That would imply it's sentient. I believe it's responding to something primitive. Primitive? It doesn't care who or what we are. Its instinct was to defend against anything, but we'll never really know. We're losing time here. We still haven't reached the island. Ricky, go to island! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Take so much. The capital's defenses are sure to fall. Forefathers, grant me your wisdom. Iluna Meluruka Daxis. Duku Aruke Meluruka Mihinehato. A giant. So this is what was sealed away. How long has it been, Emperor? This is our first encounter. It is not you that I speak to, but your blood. The blood that shackled me. I see. Then I assume I do not need to tell you the reason I am here. There is no need. I already know why you have come. Hmm. Use it. That is the reason I am here, after all. Whoa! Big door. Whatever needed this door was massive. <laughs> Dino Beast! Hmm. It's just a statue. Don't freak us out like that, Ricky. Is this a person? I can't make it out. This may very well be the appearance of my forefathers. 
The legends tell that they differed greatly to how we look now. And this is what they looked like. Wait a minute. I've seen this thing somewhere before. Oh, Dino Beast! Dino Beast! You might be right. It reminds me of the Teletia as well. Did your ancestors build this island? No. The stories tell of this place existing long before my people. No one knows for sure. But we think our forefathers are the ones who sealed it. I wonder what's hidden inside. Well, we'll know soon enough, I suppose. There. An engraving by the forefathers. I've seen this engraving around the capital. Many researchers have tried and failed to discover its meaning. Hey, Shulk. That symbol. Yeah. It's similar to the Monado symbols. There must be a connection. Connection? The sealed door of Prison Island. It is said only a true successor to the throne can open it. Then the Emperor must be inside. I believe so. Forefathers! I, your descendant, Melia Antiqua, stand before you. For the sake of our world, release the seal! Just like at the tomb. What's it doing? Aren't we going to help? Please, do not worry. It is necessary. Shulk. Get a move on. You saw it, right? Us bashing that tin man's head in. Hold on a second. Ah, oh, here we go. I knew you'd start overthinking. There's not much time, Shulk. We've got to go now. Sharla's right. We'll miss our chance to take that murdering mech on down. And save Melia's father, too. I... Okay. We must be outside the tower. Are we here? Mm, this is it. This is the place I saw. He's one of the giants, said to have become extinct eons ago. This is what our forefathers locked away. I am Zanza, and I have waited centuries for you.
You waited for him. But I thought our forefathers imprisoned you here. I forged the Monado. It is molded from me. All who wield the sword are made known to me. You made the Monado? Yes. I made it millennia ago to oppose Mekonis. But why are you imprisoned? The Monado controls the principle upon which life is based. The source of your existence. Ether. Master the principle of life, and all things will bow to you. Your power would be infinite. As you now know, the sword gives the wielder the power of foresight. And I myself once used that sword against the Mekonis and defeated it. You're telling us you beat the Mekonis with that tiny thing? <laughs> its appearance is merely an illusion. Its form morphs to conform to the will of its master. The power comes from within. <sighs> but its power was feared by some. That is why the High Entia imprisoned me here long ago. That can't be true. Our forefathers would have had better reason. You are what you are. Do you not believe your own eyes? Open your mind, new ruler of the High Entia. The Monado is the blade of the Bionis, the only force that can oppose the Maconis. As the wielder grows, so too does his ability to control all things. Yet there is still power trapped in the sword. The Monado is in shackles. Shackles? It is suppressed. You mean... Yes, it was this constraint that gave rise to faced Mekon. Mekon which cannot be destroyed by the Monado. Shackles. They must be the reason the Monado can't hurt people as well. Does that have something to do with the faced Mekon? You must find that out by yourself. I will remove those shackles for you. But you must take the Monado and free me from this prison. Free me, and the Monado will cut down anything you wish. Nothing but a god can stand in your way. Don't do it, Shulk. But Melia, why? Something's not right. The forefathers must have had good reason to seal him. I need that power. I thought you of all people would understand. I do, but it's just... Hold on a minute. He only said he'd release this new power. Sounds like a good idea to me. But... Melia, please understand. I must do what I set out to. The Mekon must pay.
Young Shulk, I will not force you. I ask for nothing in return. It is your choice. I will. To the Monado. Your will shall be done. Let the shackles be released. This party's over. What do you think of our leader's gift? How did you know we'd be here? What's that? The poor insects are a little confused. We're here for the old fool. <laughs> if he's dead, he can't power up the Monado. You being here's just an added bonus. Ah! A silver-faced Mekon! Zanza? Respond, Zanza. I know you can hear me. I sense thought waves. Zanza, how many more will you sacrifice? Who are you to talk to me? How dare you? You know nothing. I am here to talk, Zanza. Ah! You will pay for what you've done! Please wait. I mean you no harm. Give us back Viora! Give her back! Ah! I told you to stay out of the way! Boy! Shulk! Weak, weak and pathetic! Stop that! Stupid buck! Melia! Look at you, worthless without the Monado. Isn't that right, Dunban? What? Or who are you? How do you know me? Let's see if this jogs your memory! He moves like... But that's impossible! Don't bang! Cease immediately! They are not our target! Any final words? Who dares? Stop at once! Mechon! Emperor! Father! <sighs> Are you hurt, Melia? No. Father. You're gonna pay for that, you bag of bones! <gasps> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Looks like he's had his wings clipped. Did you really expect to beat me? Emperor... I... failed you. Heir to the Monado. Huh? Sansa! You're alive! Give me the power I need! I am now a mere shell. The power is already yours. What? The shackles have been broken. Wield the sword. It bends to your will. Think of your enemy, and the power to defeat them is yours. Ah! Zanza. Mekon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. It's changing form. Be careful. We cannot withstand such power. Shoot! Outside the pre established harmony. Is that. a haunt? No way. Fe Fiora. changed at all. That is clear. But still, I cannot... Do as you please. Fiora! Wait! My mission is complete. Returning to base. Yeah. <sighs> 
You were lucky this time, dumb man. But next time, I'll slice you in two. Fiora! It's me, Shulk! Fiora! We were too late. Again. I saw it. I knew it would happen. Shulk. Why? Why did this have to happen? <laughs> Father. Melia, the hope of our people. You must not cry. Don't say that. I don't care how improper it is. Let me cry. Melia. Why does it have to be me? If all it takes is to be half Homs. Is that what you think? You are very much mistaken. <laughs> but... To become the hope of the High Entia is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. But remember this also. It is not because you are the hope of the High Entia that I love you. It is because I love you that I wish for you to become that hope. <laughs> Heir to the Monado, I leave the sword in your hands. The sword that my forefathers sealed away with it, you can succeed. Your Majesty. Uh, Melia, uh, cry for as long as you must. But when, when your tears are dry... Melia, come with me. Shulk, I... You'll have plenty of time to think about your empire and your people's hopes. If you need me, I will be at your side. But you are an individual. You are Melia Antiqua. And you can't let them get away with this. You're right. My foremost concern is making them pay. Well played indeed. Zanza. <laughs> I do what is necessary for the world. I could very easily have stood in for you. Your sentiment is appreciated. Mm. I see a storm on the horizon. And finally, Crown Princess Melia's accession will take place one year from today. Until such time, as decreed by the Crown Princess, I shall assume Imperial duties as Regent. If there is anyone who objects to said decision, state your grievances now. All the ministries are unanimous. We have no objection to Her Majesty's decree. To each and every one of you, our thanks. If I may, Your Highness, 
I would like to propose a roundtable discussion on strategy concerning the Mekon. Ah, what to do about the Mekon? Our defenses must be shored up immediately. Not only our defenses, Your Highness. Do you suggest an offensive approach? While the capital still licks its wounds? The Ministry of Research has the ideal solution. Friends act strange. A friend sad. Ah, oh, Ricky sad too, because of empty belly. Ricky, we already ate. Us Homs don't get upset just because we're hungry. Not hungry? Oh, Hom Hom must have small bellies. Oh, Ricky jealous. We've got to get our minds off this somehow. Dumban's locked himself away ever since we came back. Hmm. Is it because of the girl who was operating that mech on? Melia. How are you? What do you mean? If you were talking about father, I'm fine. I have no choice but to look to the future. You're stronger than me, Melia. Do not mock me. More importantly, it is time you tell me who she is. We've known her all our lives. We thought she was killed in Colony 9. She didn't even recognize us. She's not the Fiora I remember. It looked a lot like Fiora. But if it was her, then I can't imagine how Dumban feels. What did he mean? Fiora is Dumban's sister. I didn't know. Is this Fiora important to Shulk? Important? She's more than important. She's the reason we're out here. If that really was Fiora, why didn't she reply to me? Fiora. I'd better talk to Dunban. He'll know something. I've been looking for you. So this is where you were. Shulk. Apologies. Was everyone worried? Of course. Me especially. Hmm? It's just... I've been thinking about Fiora. And I can't help wondering. Wondering what? You saw how Fiora acted. It was like she didn't even recognize us. Yes. It's unsettling. But Shulk, don't get me wrong. I'm not sad. Even if she doesn't recognize me, I'm glad to know she's alive. Dunban... You see, Fiora was born many years after me. And, not long afterwards, we lost our father to a Mekon. It was left to me to protect and raise her, almost like a father. I was always jealous that she had you as her brother. Ah, yes. You and Fiora used to be inseparable. Yeah. I need to tell you something. I always thought if Fiora were to be with anyone, it should be you. What? 
But Ryan hangs out with her just as much as me. Yeah, he does. But Fiora doesn't like him in that way. Oh. I see. He's a nice guy. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. All reckless and hot-headed. Probably why he's not right for her. Listen, Shulk. Yes? A lost life can never be returned. But she's alive. It doesn't matter that she's lost her memory. Yeah. I guess you're right. Fiora and I have spent our entire lives together. The memory of that can't have disappeared completely. It's up to us. We have to help her remember. Help me, Shulk. Help me get her back. You know I will. Okay. Let's go tell the others. Hey, they're back. Have you gathered your thoughts? Yes. Sorry to be a nuisance. Shulk? You too? Yep. All thanks to Dumban. I'm glad. Forgive me. His Highness Callion summons you. You think something's happened? We won't know until we get there. I apologize for calling you at short notice. It's fine. Is anything wrong? I must apologize to you all. Forgive our hubris. <laughs> we High Entia were arrogant enough to idly sit behind our defenses, safe in the knowledge that Mekonis lies a great distance from our land. And we were wrong. Our decision to ignore the Mekon assault on your homeland was wrong. Your Highness, does this mean...? Yes, Shulk. We will face the dangers ahead together. Brother. Which leads me to my request. After setting eyes on a group consisting of Homs, Nopon, and High Entia alike, I realized an allied army must be formed. I ask that you act as ambassadors for the assembly of this force. Tell me your thoughts, Shulk. I need time before I make a decision. Does Shulk not wish to aid us in our mission? I do not believe that to be true. Then why? Shulk has... other people to consider. That wasn't like you, Shulk. I'm sorry. You know you can talk to me. It's Fiora. That's why you're hesitating. Yeah. Knew it. You wouldn't think twice otherwise. I... I just don't know. Find her, Shulk. Melia, I... I used to believe my father did not love me, until the day he died. Oh. If you do not grasp the importance of loved ones until after they are gone, that is simply too late. You're right, Melia. I've made up my mind. I'm going to get Fiora back. You don't have to do this. I'll go and look for her myself. The burden should be mine. No. I want her back as much as you. 
Leave the ambassador stuff to me, Shulk. I'll probably make a mess of it. But we're a team. You can count on me. I'm afraid that is my duty, Rhyme. I am of both High Entia and Hom's blood. I am the Crown Princess, and of mixed heritage. Thus, I am best suited to carry out this task. That means we won't... Yes. I will remain here. We must say goodbye. Is that what you really want? Yes. But promise me, when you find her, you'll come back. I'll be here waiting for you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's probably a good idea if I go and tell Kallion myself. I am sure he already understands. Besides, it's likely that the ministers are harassing him at this present moment. We should spare him any further inconvenience. Then... this is goodbye. Yes. Come back as soon as you can. We are in great need of your help. Got it. Listen, I'll keep an eye on Shulk for you. <sighs> Whatever can you mean? Well, it's a risky strategy, letting Shulk go off and just hoping he'll come back to you. Shulk and I are merely... Yeah, yeah. But remember, the longer he's away, the more chance his feelings for you will fade. But... Once we find this Fiora, I will personally whisk him back here in a heartbeat. <laughs> Don't give up! Uh, I... Appreciate it. Great. Don't worry, Melia. I'm on your side. Brother? Just on your way out, I see. It's not what... I'm sorry, Your Highness. About your offer. We must... humbly decline. I... See? Very well. Let us hope my sister does not shed too many tears. I stay because I must, brother. There's two millias. Rhyme wrong. This Melly smell different. Yes. We need Melia to learn more of the lands of Bionis. But she is still bound to handle public matters. Hence, another Melia. Callion. Your Highness, Crown Princess. As your humble subject, I formally request the following. Speak. I request that you accompany Shulk in his quest to find the Mekon that attacked Alchemoth. Are you sure? Shulk. I am aware of everything. Go forth and follow your heart. There will come a day when we need you, but it is not today. Your Highness, that means a lot to me. That is one cool prince. If only someone had his sensitivity. Sensitivity? Well, I, I, I'm sensitive. Hmm, the jury's out on that one. That's a relief. We have recently received a report that the silver-faced Mekon fled to Galahad Fortress, the Mekon stronghold at Sword Valley. It will be a treacherous path. My sister is in your hands. Thank you, Kallion. I will keep her safe. Regent, I accept your request. I will return victorious with Shulk. I am most pleased. Leaving without me? Do you want to come? To reach Galahad Fortress, you will need to travel through Valak Mountain on the right arm of the Bionis. The snow-covered mountains are fraught with danger. Those unfamiliar to them risk never coming back. Of course, you would be familiar with that region. Then there's no point in wasting time. 
Leave the Allied force to me. I am not known for my diplomacy, but call it pride. I shall succeed. We'll join you as soon as we can. I look forward to the day. Heroes of Bionis, make us proud. You see? Now we're getting some respect. We're back to this again, are we? See you soon, Callion. We will need to traverse Sword Valley if we wish to reach Galahad Fortress. If Colony 6 were in better shape, we could have taken a pod from there. How are we getting there? We will take the path down from the Bionis right arm. Sword Valley is where the arm meets the Mekonis sword. Aha. So that's our route. As I said earlier, it is a snow-covered mountain range, and you should expect a tough climb. Are we all ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Quite. First, we will head through Machna Forest. This short-range pod will be our transport. All aboard, people. Yes? Zanza is not dead. I feel it. Our tragedy unfolds once again. Lady Maynath? Does that mean... Indeed. I do not doubt that Egil too is aware. However, why free the Monado? Zanza must realize it is now a double-edged sword. And what reason could he have for choosing the boy? <sighs> what is this? I am experiencing feelings for the boy? Lady Maynard. Venea, your swift repairs are appreciated. Thank you. I wish to see that boy again. To meet with the one who wields the Monada. The boy? But my lady, is that not... Is Egil aware of my reawakening? Uh, he is not. As my lady wished, he knows nothing. Then, there is no need to worry. I shall meet the boy. Besides... The Monado will draw him to me. Flying off without me, huh? I know you from somewhere. Of course, I remember you. You're Jungburn's little sister. I could go for a hot cup of Dixon's home brew right about now. We're not built for this cold. 
It is to be expected. This climate is as different to your home as it gets. It only snows this high up on the Bionis. <laughs> Ricky hate cold. This can't be nice for Ricky. He's from Matna. A little further down is Sword Valley, right? Yes. But before then, I must show you something. Me? You, Shulk. Do you not see? That tall formation that looks like a tower. Ruins, to be precise. Ricky see it? Bigger than Big Tree in Village. We can rest there. I'll explain everything then. Ruins. I wonder who built them. Elvis? This the place you meant? Mm hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Been away? Pay me no mind. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Throw hot water on ice! Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. In the cave next to it, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. And we can use this rock to melt the ice. I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Start looking for a geezer, everyone. The letters are worn and difficult to make out, but it's definitely the language of the High End here. They look just like the lettering on Prison Island. If only we could. Just walk inside. This place. Something up, Shulk? No, it's just... I feel like I know this place. Deja vu. I'm not sure, but... I had it. I can't seem to recall. Are you all right? What? Must be tired. Don't worry. This is Ose Tower. Built by the High Entia to house and protect the Monado. The ceremony of seers was conducted here. It is also where the Homs found the Monado. Wait, you mean... So this is where the Monado was kept. My dad took it from here. Have you always been able to see the future? You told me you were from a long line of seers. Did you have the ability from birth? Once, I too came into contact with the Monado. Huh. Those that are to be seers must touch the Monado. And a chosen few receive our power. That is the ceremony of my family. And the ceremony was held right here.
Shulk, why do you think we can see the future? I hadn't really thought about it. After I grabbed the Monado, I just saw things. Your visions are the flow of ether itself. Ether is the very source of our world's existence. Where and how much ether there exists now and in the future can be predicted. Therefore, in principle, the future of living beings such as us can also be predicted. And there is one thing that makes possible the visualization of those predictions. You mean... the Monado? The Monado can disrupt the ether, allowing you to release certain powers. Which means... My visions, under the same principle, are there to disrupt the future. With no one to control the outcome, the future will never change. But what if someone were to disrupt the future? What then? The future would be changed. Is that how Zanza planned to defeat the Mechonis? But why go to such lengths? What happened all those years ago? Did you think it was just a myth? I used to only believe in what I could see. My home, my friends, the Monado itself. I knew those things were real. But when you took the Monado in your hand, you gained the ability to see that which was not meant to be seen. Are you saying I should stop? You are... a fluctuation. As a fluctuation, you exist outside the results of your predictions. The more you accept this existence, the more malleable the world becomes. In fact, you have no choice but to accept it. Good morning. Did we sleep well? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Rain not tell truth. Rain snoring make Ricky think of Orluka. Oi! I don't snore. <laughs> Sword Valley is just around the corner. It is you. Hey, that's Fiora! Young heir to the Monado, we meet again. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... you know this body? So it's true. You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's Dunban over there. Family? There is family. Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Fiora! What was that? Alert. You killed my father! Get him! Get away from her! No, no. Let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You... You're disgusting! Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? 
I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp. <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right. You can have it. But only if you let her go. There's a good boy. Always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> but you're... How's it going, Dunman? Is that... Munkar? I thought it might be, but... You're to blame for all this. I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword. Has this puny boy even figured out how it works yet? What are you willing to do? Would you even kill a Homs to beat us? You dare ask that of us? Why did you betray us to Mekonis? Why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? You want to know? Because it's your home. You piece of... Stay where you are. That thing works by remote. So, unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... <sighs> so what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> We will not bow to you! Will you hit bad guy in face? Uh, you'll pay for that, princess! You're a traitor, Mumkar, and you're not getting away. Then you will know the shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! Uh! That light! What 
It's not like the other Mekon. You are right, heir to the Monado. This is the strongest Mekon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, leader of Mekonis, an agent of Maynet. Leader of Mekonis? So you're the one who controls the Mekon? I am he. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionis. Why? Why do you trap bombs in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. I must return with this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! If you want her, come and get her. You are more than welcome on the comet. Come and visit any time, Dunban! Munka! We're coming! And we won't give up! Find us, Monado, Sword of the Bionis. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you! Fiora! Shulk. She's... Get it together, Shulk! <sighs> we ain't got time to be hanging around here. I don't know what's happened to her, but that was Fiora. No doubt about it. You know what that means? She ain't dead. We gotta get her back! Get her back. Right. We've come too far to give up now. Then we'll go to Mekonis and find Fiora. Just beyond there lies Sword Valley. The Mekon flew in the direction of Galahad Fortress. Fiora may be there. Will you pursue, Shulk? Yes. We will get Fiora back. The Mekonis. The entire valley below. The whole thing is its sword. Something seems unnatural. What do you mean? Look, that flowing light. From the way it glows, it has to be ether. But it looks like it's being drawn in by something. By the fortress. It should just be up ahead. Father once told me that the Mekonis absorbs the ether of the Bionis and uses it for sustenance. So the Mekonis feeds off ether? Then undoubtedly the ether serves as the Mekon's energy source as well. It looks so big! Even from this distance! The fortress must be enormous. Galahad Fortress. The frontline base of the Mekon. The Mekon that attack Bionis must all come from here. Then... There's a high probability that he's there. The Golden Mekon that took Fiora. We're about to enter the Mekon stronghold. If there's anyone who wants to turn back now... Shulk! Friend should no split up! No leave friend behind! Ricky's scared, but Ricky won't go too. Ricky. He's right. Okay, let's go. 
Yes. What's that? A supply convoy. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Hey, it's... Dixon! Looks like you lot have been having fun without me. Heard you took care of that faced Mekon. What are you doing here? I got wind of some allied force coming together a few days back. I stepped up as the representative of the Homs. Then a little birdie told me you lot were heading for Galahad Fortress. So I thought I'd drop by and say hello. I've got a whole stack of new equipment. Want some? Yeah! I was hoping for some new stuff. Hold it, Ryan. You know it's gonna cost you. You cheap old man. Hey there! Fiora? You mean Dumban's sister? Yes. So that's why you're all looking so down. I can't believe they're sticking homs into those faced Mekon. Looks like they weren't just eating us. They made Mumkar into one. He was the one who attacked Colony 9. Oh, and there was me thinking he snuffed it in that battle. Aren't you surprised? That he attacked Colony 9? I don't know what drives those Mekon. I've given up trying to figure them out. It don't surprise me one bit. <laughs> Still, Munker as well, eh? Things are getting interesting. Sorry? Oh, nothing. It is time for us to return. I would like to continue providing assistance, but my help is required in assembling Homs for the Allied Force. There are also my duties as Seer to consider. Then I'll be off too. You lot should be alright getting Fiora back. In the meantime, we'll be getting ready for battle. Thanks for coming this far. We'll be fine. We can handle ourselves. Galahad Fortress is a key position for the Mekon. You can't just rush in, all guns blazing. Agreed. We will infiltrate via the Aether Inlets. If I'm right and the Mekon do feed off Aether, then we're sure to find some form of influx channel. Our objective is to reach one of those channels. Don't go dying on me, Shulk. I won't. You take care as well. Cheers. Looks like it's just us. Right. We head for the hilt of the sword. Galahad Fortress. Okay. One year on. Now, at last, we will seize our destiny. Isn't that right, Shulk? So another has appeared with the ability to wield the Monado. But why would Zanza release the Monado? He surely knows it would become a double-edged sword. Yet he relinquishes it to that mere child. And the face escaped my control and acted alone. 
Now that the Monado has been freed, it appears the usefulness of the faces has come to an end. Although, perhaps there are still things to be learnt from having them challenge the boy. Hey, look! Can we get in through there? It looks as though it's unguarded. It should make for a decent entry point. Now's our chance, Dunban. Yes. But don't lower your guard. The Mekon may just be hiding. I've been waiting for you. Munka! How predictable. I knew you were going to come. How could you? How could you do this to your own kind? That ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just having the time of my life here. Ain't that the point? I even get to take out that annoying Monado brat. Oi, Beardy! You're talking pretty tough there. Don't be so sure you can take us all on by yourself. Come on! <laughs> I ain't that stupid. What's that sound? Ah! You scumbag! <laughs> well then, Monado boy. Think you can do it? Can you kill them all? <sighs> I wonder who's inside. Who could it be? Your dad? Your mom? Maybe that special someone! <sighs> Aha! Looks like we have our first contestant! Too bad she won't give me much of a fight! It's just like with Zanza! Shala! Look out! Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. Shulk? Everyone, watch out for the green claws and the other one's spears. There's something different about them. You catch on quick, boy. You're right. These weapons are special. They were made especially to decompose you, Homs. And no, wait, any being from Bionis. How can that be? I don't know about all this technical stuff, but it's something to do with that ether. Ether is like the Bionis blood. The fortress sucks its blood out for us. Then we use it to make this green liquid. You monsters! <laughs> Pretty clever, don't you think? This world suits me just fine, Dunban! Munka, you're gonna pay! I'm tired of your yapping, Mr. Hero! I'm gonna squish you like a slug! Right here, where we shared such lovely memories! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to Fiora and the Emperor. So of course I want to get my revenge. Shulk. <laughs> but... Face Mekon are not like the others. They're people. Like us. Are you really willing to kill another Homs? Yes. Sometimes needs must. <sighs> Even if it's Fiora. What then? When we set out, I wanted to destroy all Mekon. That was my aim. But now, I know that there are people inside. I have to know why. What's the reason for all of this? Why do Bionis and Mekonis have to keep on fighting? I have to find out why. So, that is your fight. Forgive what he's done. And yet, your words, they ring true. I feel their weight. We have to help Fiora now. We'll worry about the rest later. Right. Did you hear that, Munkar? We haven't got time to be playing around with you. You always had to have the last word! Just die! No! Just Don't move! Die! No! No! 
You went too far, you fool. They are of surprisingly little use, those visions. Because he could not save his majesty. That was within the margin of fate. It was not Shulk's fault. Hmm. So you side with the boy? Did you find anything out? I did. It is most fascinating, this spear. The green fluid alters and destroys the structure of the ether, which is the building block of life on Bionis. It appears to have been created from ether energy drawn from the blood of the Bionis. Could that explain the ether flowing through Sword Valley? I do not think it is the only reason, but it is too early to draw conclusions. Is there a countermeasure? Creating antibodies is a simple matter. We will be ready. That is good news. Why did you have to include him? You know how he disgusts me. We must respect our elders. Dixon has known him far longer than us. At least he's out of the way. Now we just need to get inside. They're in there. Fiora and the Golden Mechon. Fiora! Shulk! What's up? Did you see something? No. You did see something. All right. It was the Silver Mechon. Fiora. She's definitely inside the fortress. All right. At least we know what to expect. So, Fiora is inside. I can't let that vision come true. I have to save her. Here's our way in. There's no turning back. We can't let them find us. Let's move. Right. Fiora's in here somewhere. Let's get looking. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm ready for anything. I'll trash any mechon that tries to mess with us. Where are we? Looks like the control room for an ether blast furnace. There, look at that. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Shulk, what's that? Oh, looks like fun. Ricky, want to ride? 
We didn't come here to mess about a furball. Time to bounce on. Hold on. If we can stop that piston, we might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Nice idea. Cut off the Mekon's ether supply. Ricky, say we try! Yeah, but how are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, it should work. And the turbines should be nearby. Right. Let's search for them. Bunch of jokers. <laughs> nice one. We did it. This should prevent them from mobilizing any large Mekon squads for now. Hopefully, we've improved the Allied forces' chances. Hold steady, my brother. Friends, here, here! It looks like the door's been unlocked. Nice. Let's get down to the blast furnace. If we're lucky, Fiora might be down there. Shulk, is that? Spear ones! Loads and loads of spear mekon! <sighs> it's Fiora! Good. 
job, everyone! Perfect! Stop! Don't you recognize Shulk? Fiora! Fiora, please! Don't you remember us at all? It's no use! Everyone, it's time to retreat! Got it! Understood. Move! Shulk! I think so. What do we do now, Shulk? We ain't gonna last long here. Fiora! Try and remember! It's us! I pity you. Without the power of that sword, I doubt you would ever have made it this far. Apocrypha, activate. What is? Ah! Uh. Mate, what's going on? What's happened to the Monado? Look out! Ah! Shulk! I'm... Uh, okay. Shulk, wait here. Fiora! Stop this right now! How could you? Shul came here to save you! Do you hear me, Fiora? You must run! Fiora! Fiora! Or whoever you are! Please, run! The machine is not under my control! Not under your control? Is it him? Most surprising. I admit, I never expected such resistance to becoming a fate. Agil! Fiora! What have you done to her? From the moment of their creation, all Mechon are mine to control. Should a passenger defy me, I force it to obey. Why make Homs into Mechon? Why are you making them attack Bionis? If you wish to know, you have only to submit yourself to me. All will become clear when you attack Bionis with a new body born of Mechonis. Never! Who would ever submit to you? Forget about him. We have to get out of here. But... But what about Fiora? If we die here today, she will be... She will be lost forever. Choose. I have rendered the Monado useless. You have no hope of victory or escape. <sighs> you chunk of scrap! So it was you who did that to the Monado! The Monado is a tool that regulates the waves of the very ether from which the world is formed. Therefore, it can be counteracted simply by releasing opposing waves. But how can you? The questions end here. Hand over the Monado. After all, it is no longer of use to you. Never! If the Monado really is powerless, then why would you want it for yourself? I will never give it to you. Never! 
Then make your choice. Be crushed by my fist, or slain by your old friend. is not possible. It cannot be. The fortress has collapsed? What of Melia? And Shulk? 
The observation was based solely on long-range intelligence. We cannot be any more specific. <sighs> you don't need to worry about them. But... Take it easy. I've got a pretty good idea where they are. If you're gonna attack, you better do it now. Their fortress ain't completely destroyed. Or do we just sit here and wait to die? Shall I perform the divination ritual now? Forgive me, Seer. That will not be necessary. From now on, we will seize our destiny with our own hands. We don't need to see the future. The Mekon forces are on their way. No doubt about it. I like the look in your eye there, lad. It's time. This is war! It's been a long time since I last had this dream. I reached out for a piece of scrap metal. And then I fell into the ground. Was I... Was I... dreaming? Uh. Fiora! What's that? Fiora. <sighs> Fiora. She's still breathing. Wake up. <sighs> Come on. Wake up. <sighs> she needs water. Fiora, you're awake. 
Um... Do you remember? My name is Sh I can't believe it. My first kiss. You do remember me. Fiora. Of course I do. Shulk. I never forgot you or the others. Then... why? Because... I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? When it happened. When Colony 9 was attacked by the Mekon. I thought I had died. I felt the Mechon's claw rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound. No light. No pain. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. And it felt like there was someone inside me. Someone else? The one who was controlling the Mechon you were in? Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Except uh, I had no control over my body, and I couldn't talk. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. But... the person inside you... Do you know who it was? No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. There was something she urgently needed to do. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping. Or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped. Hijacking your body, treating it like it's her own. I, I guess. I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk, I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egin, she knew what I wanted to do, and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. I'm glad to be here. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's gonna be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Charla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're gonna like them. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. 
but nothing's going to separate us now. Come on, let's start searching. Shulk! Fiora! What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit... strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. I wonder what happened... after the fortress. Where did the others all end up? The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mekon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk, can't you sleep? Sorry, did I wake you? No, it's okay. I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks, but I'd like some water. Okay. You should eat, even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. I just run on water. Don't worry. <sighs> I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body, so I should live here on Mekonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought, if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Mekon! No! Not now! Shulk! Let me... <sighs> Fiora! Right. Come on, Monado. Don't let me down. The Monado bends to your will. No! I won't let you take her from me! This time... I will protect Fiora! Yes! The Monado's light! I can do this! Monado. 
It worked, but... I feel... worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... What's that sound? No! We're surrounded! You're up then. Sharla! What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan. Um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Ryan I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the Colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain, and not just physical. Mm. Friends and family, alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally. That's the Ryan I know. I'm... back there. Were you talking about that guy, Gabo? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Ryan. Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking.
What's that sound? Someone's in a fight. Up ahead. Shulk! Rhyme! I got your back! We'll turn them into scrap! Right! Good to see you. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan! Ryan, it's you! Fiora! She remembers us! Yeah. She's been through a lot. I can see. Wow. If only we could find Dunbar. Yeah, he'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry? When no one's watching? Yep. He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. Nope, I don't believe it. Take it easy. I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. I can see. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get, you ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? Take it as a compliment. Ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Yeah, wouldn't miss it. What is it? I can... hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sound. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! Stop for Ricky. Oh, Ricky very hungry. And Ricky sleepy. 
If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. Hmm, what's this? Here upon Ricky have big fight with fish, Ricky win! Grilled fish taste yum yum! Ah, dum dum eat too! I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. Oh, Ricky very tired, but Ricky very hungry too! Huh, <laughs> how considerate of you. Hmm, huh. Ricky not understand dum dum. Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason, you ask. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky glad dun-dun like yum-yum fish. Yeah, thank you. But Ricky tired too, and Dun Dun not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear Dun Dun's story. Ricky listen carefully, for Ricky is the hero bond. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yeah, Ricky listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun, too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dundun, take care of them. Hmm? Dundun, watch over Shulk. Dundun, watch over Fiora. That is all a daddy pawn can do. Ha! Ricky, make mistake. Dundun, not daddy pawn. Well... I am her older brother. But just like Daddy Bon, watching over family. Same watch over. Dun Dun do what he must. Huh. Who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little Bon. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little Bon. Ricky know some things. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Everyone's strong. Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here. Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. Uh, I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. A village in a place like this? Malia! Shulk! Guys! 
You were right. Ooh, yeah. And we found Fiora. Dunban. Fiora. Do you remember me? Mm hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, dear brother. Shulk, is that your childhood friend? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And what is this place anyway? <gasps> These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. The people of Mekonis. Machina? You mean... machine people? You look as if you have many questions. But please, take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. So, are you Mekon? In one sense we are, and in another we are not. It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mekonis. So there is life here, just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your... situation. Just as I thought. You were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. I will take her to my laboratory. The chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk. I'm... Fiora. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. Massive! 
<laughs> I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. <laughs> we were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the Monaro? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Makonis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He is my son. Your son? Actually, my request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Egil. Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiqua, regent of the Hyentia. We all know who you are. You Hyentia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst, but the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Huh. I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around to the end. We High Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Aerith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right. You can count on our help. The Nopon will join too. The Hom Hom and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. Dixon, are you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon! Yeah? If you should meet Shulk... What? I have something I want you to tell him. You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. 
There are hardly any of us Machina left on Mechonis. Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynath fought the Bionis for us. In the end, the two Titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynath? The creator of Mechonis. You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. It's all like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Mechonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we High End here live far longer than Homs. I get that. But he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did, and he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynath herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mechonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven, but Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is, this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Rhine. I understand about Egil, but why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mechonis' weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanza. Huh? Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Hom's medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mechon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mechon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mechon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Viora, leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mechon, so if you were to find some Mechon parts... But where? Well, 
Outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mekon wreckage. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit 5, right? Yes. It gives off a faint red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo electric unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo, will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, by the way... Yes? The Chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. Welcome. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I wanted to, uh, um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes. We agree with you. Egil must be stopped. But we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world, and we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why. But it disintegrates anything it touches, but only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm, bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. 
If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high-end-tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied force attacks Maconis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised, too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikol, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mechonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things she needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force, yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> You might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. 
Venea. Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... We'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care on your journey. We will. Linada, thank you for everything.
Bionis and Mechonis. Oh, it's so different, seeing them from this kind of perspective. We cannot see it from here, but our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been horrible. Scary too. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear we commit terrible atrocities and call them acts of self-preservation. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps that circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way? Oh. We're inside the Mechonis. Just how I imagined it. It's all totally mechanical. It ain't gonna be easy getting up this thing. Egil is at the top. What's up, Shulk? Look, it's a switch to activate a lift. If we can get it to work, it should take us up. Ricky want to ride lift? We can't. There's no power going to it. Boring! What do we do? Well, if we could find the main power supply... OK, people, let's get looking. Yeah. If we can connect the power to the switch, we should be able to use the lift.
Whoa! Don't look down. Anyone know where we are? Other than high up? Maybe somewhere around the thigh? The thigh? You mean we ain't even halfway there yet? Stop moaning about it. Look, we can make camp over there. Let's rest for a while. Fiora, are you sure you're feeling okay? I feel a bit like... I haven't got used to this body yet. But please, whatever you do, don't tell Shulk about it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dunban. Don't worry about it. Back when my arm was injured, it was you who took care of me. I'd almost forgotten. It seems so long ago now. Thanks, Ryan. Doing a spot of maintenance? Yeah. The sighting's been a bit off lately. You know, Mikko let us have some new parts. I could make you a new rifle if you want. Thanks. But I... I want to keep using this one for now. Shulk, get a clue, man. It's more than just a weapon to her. She can't just throw it away and get a new one. Yeah. I suppose so. <laughs> if she let anything happen to it. I bet she'd get a whack from old Atharon. <laughs> Doesn't my man ever rest? <laughs> Not a chance. The lives of everyone in the colony rely on the defense force. Our readiness and our will to keep on fighting. We never know when the Mekon will strike next. No. But I won't let anyone else die. men in Fortress 3 alone. Listen to me. Nobody knew that so many Mekon would come. More people would have died if it wasn't for you. It's not about reducing casualties. We lost 30 men. And we've lost the Fortress. Those men died for nothing. Would their deaths have meaning if we'd won? <sighs> Yes. At least they would have died for something. This is the end now. It's either the Mekon or us. I don't care if I'm the last man standing. I'll take them down! Hey, Ryan. What is it? Do you want to beat the Mekon? Of course. What are you asking that for? At any cost? Even if it means giving your own life? Giving my own life? No way. I can't do anything if I'm dead. I'm gonna take down the Mekon and survive. And there's no way I'm gonna lose Shulk, Fiora or you along the way. We're all gonna win this and get out alive. If only we all thought like you. What do you mean? It's charming. What?
We should get moving. We don't have time to hang around. Ryan, did you rest well? Yeah, I feel great. It looks like we're about to re-enter the Mekonis. Brace yourselves. Got it. Just my imagination. Are you okay? She looks very tired. Should she not get some rest? Oh, thank you. But really, I'm okay. No. We'll find a safe place to rest. We've hardly stopped since we left the village. Ricky tired too? Ricky tummy rumble? I'm with you. <sighs> Time to park our... Get down! Ah! A mech on assault! Can anyone see them? Another vision! Nice one, Shulk! No, it wasn't. Shulk? You did well to evade me. Just what you'd expect from he who wields the Monado. That voice! It's a face to make up. Is there someone inside? What do we do, Shulk? We fight. But don't kill him. I thought you might say that. Come <laughs> on. 
Boyfriend. The destruction of the Monado. That is the will of Lord Egil. Gado? What do you mean, Lord? What's Egil done to you? What's wrong, Gado? Why would you say that? Speak to me, Gado! This world is in disarray. I must eliminate the cause of this disorder and restore the world to its original form. That is my duty. Nay, the will of the world. Now, the time has come. The time to restore order. Gado, stop! Gado. Shala! Lady Maynev. It is not far off now. A world in which there is no need for fear. The hour draws near. 
Our will shall soon be done. First, there is the matter of the Monado. Our victory can only be assured if we destroy the Monado before it's too late. I sense your existence. I know you are alive. Zanza, the hour is upon us. Your time has come. Shulk. Shulk. Who's calling my name? Shulk, you have acquired the ability to glimpse the future. The ability to understand the law of causality, as decided by a higher power. A higher power? Like the Bionis? Why do you desire to change the future? Why do you wish to act against their will? I do just as anyone would do. It is natural to want to change an unhappy future. If that is their will, then I choose to fight. If that is what you wish, Shulk, then you must find your Monado. My Monado. Precisely. The one true Monado. You can't do that. Because... You aren't here. Not anymore. <gasps> <gasps> Is... is everyone okay? Yeah... That was a close one. I mean, how on Bionis did we survive that? We seem all right. I don't know. It could be that we were just lucky, but I'm sure there must be more to it than that. You were protected by the power of Lady Maynith. Who's there? A machina. Are you... Vanea? Vanea? Does that mean you're... Mikol's daughter? I am glad you are safe. Lady Maynath. Lady Maynath? That face was sent to destroy you. I am truly happy you are all right. You're lying. Gado would never try and hurt us. Sadly, his home's memories no longer remain. The current faces are nothing more than weapons, designed to annihilate all life on Bionis. It can't be. Faces are created by directly integrating the brainstem and metabolic organs of Homs into Mekon. Memories and emotion are nothing but a hindrance to an effective weapon. However, the early faces were experimental. Many retained memories from their former lives. This prevented them from executing their missions effectively. More recent faces have had all memories of their previous lives completely erased. Is that because of me? No, it is not your fault. Mumkar seems the more likely candidate. His attachment to us was too strong. You could say it caused his destruction. That sword one and all. You are correct. No. It's not true. Oh. My Gado. Sharla? Explain it to me. I mean, why does Egil want to make us into Mekon? What's the reason for all this? in order to counter the Monado. I knew it. The Monado is ineffective against the Hyentia, the Homs, against all races of Bionis. 
Egil suffered a bitter defeat in the battle one year ago. After that, he theorized that he could counter the Monado by integrating organic life from Bionis. Of course. Initially, the Monado couldn't take a Hom's life. It can now, though. It could not harm those who share the blood of Zanza. That was its sole weakness. But Zanza lifted that constraint. Those who share the blood of Zanza? Who is that giant? The progenitor of the Homs. Him? And once the friend of my brother, Egil, before they became sworn enemies. <sighs> it was Zanza who devastated Maconis. What? Wow! Look at that! Are they the Havras? They're the latest anti-Mechon weapons, designed by Lorothea and the Ministry of Research. What a glorious sight. The coming together of all the peoples of Bionis. Yes, sir! This is how it should always have been. Then perhaps Father would not. Your Highness! We are fortunate that Dixon informed us of the enemy's new weapon. Our defenses are ready. Today, we start our campaign against Galahad Fortress. Just beyond the fortress lies the Imperial capital of Mekonis. This is a battle to determine not just our own fates, but the future of all life on Bionis. We fight for future prosperity and the glory and honor of all. Troops! Are you saying that Zanza is to blame for Makonis' devastation? It's Zanza's sword that I'm using. Does this mean we're enemies? And if so, why are you... Shulk, calm down. Sorry, I... I will take you to the Makonis capital, Agniritha. Is that your plan? Lead us straight to the gates of our enemy? Deliver us into Egil's hands? It will be quicker to show you than to explain. Then you will understand the history of Maconis and the battle between the two titans. Up ahead is a lift that leads to the central factory within the chest of the Maconis. The capital, Agniratha, lies just beyond there. This is the central factory within the chest of the Maconis. Can you see the ring up ahead? At the base of that ring is a transporter that leads to Agniratha. We must first head there. This place is full of autonomous security, Mekon. Tread carefully.
I see you finally decided to show up. Let's see if we can bust these rust buckets like last time. Think we can do it? We'll get them. With this many troops on our side, we don't even need Shulk's help. You're telling me you're more worried about the kid's schedule? Kind of so for you, Atharan. Shut up! Get moving! Division 4, defend the barrier. Division 6, assist any wounded bombs. Bring it on! These high ends here may be a bunch of sissies, but they've got some pretty nifty gear! That idiot! He'll get his head knocked off at this race! Ha! Keep it up! Show everyone the power of the Yopon! Go, Yopon, go! Fight like a hero upon Ricky! It appears we have gained the upper hand. Sire, if we hold our current position, a great victory is within our grasp. It is still too early to come to that conclusion. The enemy still has hidden forces. Your Highness, enemy reinforcements approaching from above. It's a face squadron. They're here. Divisions one to three, continue supporting the Homs and encircle the faces. Your Highness, think of yourself. Once the Vanguard has been eliminated, we must join the fight. Better that than die as cowards. Move! Ha! Stick this in your exhaust pipe and smoke it! Who hasn't had a taste yet? Eat this! Should have stayed at home, lousy junk bots. Hmm. They're doing rather well. I do so enjoy a good show. But they have yet to unleash their power and fulfill their true potential. Deadbeat drones! Come out and face us like real machines! I'll sort out the lot of you, scum! So this is the Makonis capital? Yes, Agniratha. The heart of the Machina civilization. It looks so desolate. Like there are no signs of anyone living here. It truly is a soulless city. Here, bad place. Ricky want to go. So the Machina built this whole city? Not too shabby. It looks like the buildings have been here for a very long time. Look, Shulk! Dino Beast! Dino Beast eat city! A Dino Beast? Here! But how? It is a Telethia! It looks like... it's stone. Why would there be a Telethia in a place like this? The fossilized Telethia are what remain of the beasts that attacked the capital in the ancient battle. Why did the Telethia attack your city? Wasn't the ancient battle only between the Bionis and the Mechonis themselves? 
The answer to your question can be found in that tower, the data center. It is better that you see with your own eyes. Only then will you truly understand what happened between the Bionis and the Mechonis. Uh, it looks like the power's up and running. <sighs> Fiora, what's the matter? Everyone, follow me. <sighs> what is that? It looks like it's here. But it's just an image. No way. Whoa! You're right! These are memories of a time long forgotten. Fiora! Hey. They were left behind by the Machina before they abandoned this place so that others may know their story. Her voice sounds like... In ancient times, when the Bionis and the Mechonis came into existence, I was born as well. Just as the Bionis had a soul, I came to exist in this world. As the soul of the Mechonis. I created my children on Mechonis, and acquired this body. They called themselves Machina. And Mechonis was transformed into a world brimming with life. The Machina gave rise to an advanced civilization, and built this great city. This city? I can't believe it used to be so lively. They lived their lives in peace and harmony. The gentle Machina worshipped me. Life also flourished on Bionis. The Machina generously shared the fruits of their civilization with the peoples of the Bionis. They believed their two worlds would grow hand in hand. Then, a terrible fate descended on them from above. the Bionis? Wielding the Sword of Light, the Bionis attempted to destroy the Machina. <gasps> Are those Telethia? I tried to save the Machina, and confronted the Bionis. And so, I confronted Zanza. Zanza? The battle waged on and on. Even as our life forces depleted, Zanza and I continued to fight. However, 
It did at last come to an end. The giant. This is when Zanza was imprisoned. Taking advantage of my final blow to the Bionists. Its beings took Zanza and sealed him firmly away. However, the battle with Zanza had greatly consumed my life force. I warned the surviving Machina that the Bionis had not yet been destroyed, and that one day he would be released. I'm the one who released him. I then entered a long and deep slumber in preparation for Zanza's inevitable reawakening. It's all clear to me, what you wanted to do. Stop the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. Fiora, I see now. It was her inside you. Yes. Lady Maynath desired a body in which she could be free. And after you were captured by Egil's Mekon, it was I who transferred her soul into your body. But why did it have to be my body? Because you are close to Shulk. The heir to the Monado. <sighs> it was all because of our world, because of Bionis that this city was devastated. Now I understand why Egil would want to stop the Bionis from reawakening. I get it too. But how's killing any of us going to solve his problem? Precisely. What happened to the Machina was a tragedy. But we cannot forgive the Mechon attack on Bionis. What worries me is the Monado that the Bionis used. It's no different from how the legends describe, but still. It must hold a deadly power. But you have used it wisely, Shulk. It has not overwhelmed you, as it did me. He's right. If you hadn't been using the Monado, we wouldn't have lasted five minutes. But it was Zanza who bestowed this sword upon me. However, it is not Zanza who now wields the Monado. It is you, Shulk. <sighs> that is also the reason why Maynath chose Fiora as a vessel so that the tragedy of he who wields the Monado would not be repeated. The tragedy of he who wields the Monado? Shulk, believe. Believe in the path you have chosen, and those who walk it with you. Maynath once said this of the Monado. The Monado is not simply a unique weapon. It is the light within each and every person in this world. Light? What do you mean? It is the light of life. The will to survive no matter what. Perhaps Lady Maynath was drawn to your light. Beyond there lies the Maynath Shrine. Egil will be there. Is it still your intention to defeat Egil? That has not changed. We understand the history of Mekonis now. If he is willing to listen, we will try to reason with him. But if not... I understand. Then, if that is your decision, so be it. I will try to persuade Egil one last time, but I am prepared for his refusal. Venea.
I know Venea said she'll try to persuade him, but she didn't sound confident. We have to go after her. But how do we get to the shrine from here? Up ahead is a transporter leading to the shrine. But it's inactive. We need to trigger the verification devices to activate it. We'll find one at the top of each of the four pillars. If we trigger them all, we can use the transporter. Uh, how Fiora know that? Maynath's memories. She tells me these things. Do you know how to trigger them? Maybe my body itself is the key. Okay. Then let's get searching. Look out! Second time I've sensed an attack without seeing a vision first. Your mastery of the Monado is astonishing. You cannot be permitted to live. Gado! Stop! Why are you fighting us? Remember who you are! It's no good! He's completely under Egil's control now. Remember what Venea told us. I can't believe it. I won't believe it. Gado! Please! Answer me! Being the Psionic, you and the Monado are history! on Charla. You're supposed to love her. Marry her even. I don't know or care. It changes nothing. No! You always protected me and Juju. This isn't you. I said I don't know you. I have been granted this body of steel so that Egil's will may be done. This body feels great. Its movement is so precise. We are unstoppable, for we are one. Perfect in body and mind. You don't have to do this. Look at Fiora. She found herself again. Wherever you are, you must still feel pain. Absurd. Well then finish us off, Charla and all. We all saw you miss a second ago. Ain't you supposed to be a crack shot? Or did that pile of junk you call a body mess up your aim, eh? Shut your mouth! Stubborn idiot. That was your last chance. He's not giving up. The stories about Gado of Colony 6 are true. Except... He still can't kill her. He's missing Shala on purpose. Gado, you're just like I was. You can remember who you are. Gado, please! Don't you remember me? It's Shala! Wither and die as all life on Bionis will! Feel our wrath! Shook. 
Can you still use the Monado? Fiora? No. You're... Even after losing all living flesh, Ahom's heart will remain. It is still present within this face. Is that true? Yes. It is clear from his actions towards you. The remnants of his heart. Pull him back. Gatto. I will break the curse that allows Egil to control the faces. I need you to buy me some time. Okay. We'll try. Ryan, we've got to help Fiora. Hey, Come on! Right! Ah! 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 Ah!
Fiora? Was that you, or...? Mm. As for him, he'll be fine. Don't worry. to have you back while I was under his control I, I realized something Egil once wished only to break the circle of suffering he believed that if blood is spilt now a new world will be born but something terrible happened <sighs> And now... Now... He is consumed with vengeance. Egil... Go! Get out of here! Stop them doing what they did to me! To anyone else! I promise I'll be back for you. Until then, stay safe. Drink it. You must be thirsty. Thanks. Don't go dying on us. After we take Egil down, we'll get you looked at. You don't look like any doctor I've ever seen. I know a good doctor nearby. She is Machina, it, though. It'll do. I'll be right here. Hey, kid. What's your name? Ryan. Do me a favor, Ryan. Take care of Sharla. What is it? I have an unpleasant feeling. A vision? No, but something is not right. The Mekon are neither attacking nor defending. It is as if they abandoned the fight as soon as it began. Impossible. This is a key strategic position. They would never abandon it. Perhaps they have forces hidden on Mekonis. Hidden forces? Could it be? Your Highness, Shulk and the others are in danger. Will you grant me the use of a Havrez? You intend to aid them? I need you here! I did not have a vision, but nevertheless, I can sense something. The Mechonis is awakening. Venea, where have you been? Egil, why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? We survived that battle. We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace. And we still can. 
The rage of those who were annihilated by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I... I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. You are Egil, leader of Maconis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice? Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy. Are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the Titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Ether. The base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your bodies. You are aware that Ether is the foundation of them all. Y yes Ether is power. You are the source of that power. All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Mechonis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose, not I. So you attacked Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost, as you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then. You doubt my convictions, my reasons. In order to avenge my people, I have risked everything. Can you say the same? Yes, we can. To get this far, we fought long and hard. And yet, you do not fight me. Your words are useless. It is only strength that can prevail. Shulk, this whole thing stinks, but he's got a point. Agreed. Egil, leader of Maconis. The lives of the Machina and the lives of all that lives on Bionis are one and the same. We won't stop. Not until you realize that. No, I shall finally reach.
the world in you bug. And even with the Apocrypha. You know, Egil. You know the reason. Hmm. The power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? And what of you, Vanea? You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. Interesting. You're wrong! The villagers and I, we just wanted all this fighting to stop. Egil, all we wanted was to live with you in peace. Nothing more than that. Nonsense. There will never be peace until the Bionis is destroyed. Brother! <laughs> Your blade. It did not come deep enough. The Golden Mechon. Permit me to apologize for calling you bugs just now. Proved to be a worthy adversary after all. Shulk. I shall teach you just how inferior your kind proves. This is my true You can definitely do this. A feeble attempt. A feeble attempt. Let's focus our efforts. A feeble attempt. I will break your power. Learn your place. Now, perfect for a chain attack. I will do this. Backslash. A feeble attempt. Leave it to me. Time. Now. Unknown, unknown. A feeble attempt. A feeble attempt. Prepare 
to die. Shunk. No. Zanza. Zanza? Uh. I won't let you kill Shulk! You... That luck. So you have returned. Our grievances have come and gone. But you are willing to lay down your life to prevent me from achieving my dream. You were the one who said we would live together. Lady Mayneth. Yes. Mayneth, the villagers, everyone loved you. That is why they wished to live alongside you. It's all so clear now. To Mayneth and to me. I waited until the day when you would awaken once more and create a world full of light. But you are nothing more than a traitor. To me, to all those who worshipped you, and to our fallen brethren. Please, you have to listen to me. Egil! I will not listen. Your words mean nothing. You have sided with my sworn enemy. And gods can never exist alongside mortals. Mayness! Meconis, it is I, Egil, I, your devoted servant, offer my body and mind to replace Mayneth as your new soul. Take my spirit and be reawakened. Meconis! We have to run! Get out of here! The whole city's gonna come down! Shulk! Run where? We have to get out of the city! Get as far away as we can! There's no time. We have to get ourselves out. No! I have to find him! Gado! Uh, uh. Pull yourself together. Remember, Sharla, we've got a job to do. What's gonna happen if the Maconis starts moving? But... What's gonna happen to Juju and Atharon? Gado's a home soldier. He wouldn't have hung around here to die. He would have got out. Uh, all right. Right. Now, come on! <laughs> Shulk!
A sign? Yes. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Sir? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis! <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! <laughs> it's moving! Oh. Are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat immediately! The Mekonis is about to awaken! Damn it! I was counting on you, runt. What's happening? It's like we're floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Maynus, you have awakened once more. This light, was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Maynus, where's Fiora? It's okay, I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado. Saved us. Now he's... The Mechonis! Where's Egil? Shulk! Do you hear it? The awakening of the Mechonis! This is my pain. The pain of my people, echoing through the millennia! Fall to your deaths, worthless insects! Stop this! Kalyan and the others are still on the sword! Our friends are going to die! Stop! <laughs> That murdering monster is gonna pay! Uh, uh, but Tharon! Fiora? <sighs> Sorry. I can't do it. <sighs> Fiora! <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> that was a close one, but we made it. <laughs> Alvis, you are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what a stroke of luck. You're still alive. Dixon! So you were unable to stop Egil. <sighs> Sorry, Father. I have failed you, Vanea. There's no need to apologize. <sighs> it's 
So, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Eggle's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother, there is still time. Fiora? No, you're... So it is her. The Mekonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Mekonis fully adapts to the ether. Egil is at the core of the Mekonis. He will be controlling the Mekonis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Mekonis. But how are we to get there? The Mekonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mekonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Hear, hear. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. When you are ready to depart for the Mekonis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the... There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hand, Shulk. I know. Venea! I am sorry. For Lady Maynard's will to be realized, I had no choice but to use your body. Even so... Actually, I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <sighs> Where is Lady Maynard now? Shall I call her? 
She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but it's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus' feelings, and I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Mayneth is glad that she met you. Yeah, I know. from His Highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Here upon Ricky, all set. Ricky, bounce some heads. We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Really? You're a tough old-timer. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Uh, let's see who makes it through that battle. We're here. Everyone ready? Ready. Anytime. Leave it to Hirupon Ricky. <sighs> hey, Shulk. What is it this time? Stop worrying and come on. The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You're talking about that apocryph, whatchamacallit thing. Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. The core is directly linked to the Apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the Apocrypha field will deactivate, allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> Looks like you'll get your wish. Something's not right. What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who devastated Mekonis. What did he mean? He was just trying to get to you. I told you before, right? I haven't had any visions lately. Yeah? But I still know, if I concentrate, I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. 
What do you want about, Shulk? Stop playing around. Oh. But... How did you do that? I can't work it out. Ever since we came to Mekonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? <sighs> if it's true that Zanza used the Monado to lay waste to Mekonis, then... Is it right for me to use it? Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Shulk! control of the Monado has always been flawless. It never crossed my mind that this would happen to you too. Are you sure you're okay? Perhaps you are suffering this much because you put all your energy into fighting the effect of the Apocrypha. And you learnt yet, Shulk? How many times do I have to tell you? If something's up, you've got to spit it out, man. I ain't just talking about visions. I mean, whatever's on your mind. All right? Mm. S sorry, Ryan. Don't go apologizing. It's my fault for not noticing. Let's get one thing straight. I've still got your back. Uh, thanks. No. Huh? Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. This wasn't caused by the Apocrypha. It's a completely different kind of power. Shulk. What's happening to me? I know I should be glad we made it this far, but if we don't find the Apocrypha generator soon... Exactly. The fight against Egil's not going to be easy with the Monado in its current state. And we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. It's up ahead. Shulk? There's a strong energy coming from up ahead. That has to be it. Really? Yes. Then this is it. Egil's gonna be scrap metal when I'm through with him. It's just as I thought. The Monado feels the same as it did before the Apocrypha took effect. No. It feels even more powerful. The Bionis Monado and this Monado, they have to be connected somehow. Because you aren't here, not anymore. Why am I remembering that dream? Why now? Without the power, I can't stop Egil. I have to concentrate. All I have to think about is how to stop the Mechonis. If the Monado does bring about the end, then I know what to do. Fiora! Shulk, what were you thinking about? Uh, uh nothing. So... It's like that, is it? Really, it's nothing. Listen, Shulk. If it's too hard for you to handle on your own, talk to me. Huh? Fiora... You can tell any of the others as well. We're all here for you. Don't forget that. You're right. You're here for me. Of course. And don't overdo it, okay? We all saw what happened. Is your arm okay? Yeah. It's not bad. I'll live. Oi! You two! Is something up? No! It's nothing! Come on!
Come on. Mm -hmm. Shulk. You can... Is this? Yes. The Apocrypha Generator. Yeah. Let's trash the thing. We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. It should be. It is a miracle that you have been able to use the Monado at all. Hear that? Ah. Are you really all right? Yeah. I'm... fine. Venea, we need to find Egil. The control core is directly above. It is not far. Wait! It's moving! No! We're too late! You mean... The Mechonis functions have been restored! No! It can't be! Yes! You puny pests are too late! has struck. Not good. I think it must have hit somewhere on Bionis. No. No. Move out! Don't forget, we've still got a job to do. Right. Uh, what? Don't worry about it! Nicely done! Nasty thing! 
on that, Apoch or whatever. We did it, Shulk. Shulk? Oi! <sighs> Whoa. What's happened to the Monado? It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. It's amazing. Now we're talking. Next up, Egil. Can you go on? Me? I'm all right. Come on, we have to stop Egil. Back on track. Just like I said, the kid'll come through. Naturally, everything is falling into place. Heh, <laughs> you can say that again. But only as long as we remain within the margins of fate. I know not how things will proceed from this point. So, you worms have finally arrived. Egil! Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace! There's no reason for us to fight! You must stop this now! My reasons are clear! and truer than yours. What's that? Look, it's Bionis. May the roar of the Maconis be the wrath of my people. How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands. Egil, you'll regret this. Brother, stop this. You'll destroy the Bionis. Let us put an end to our torment. It ends when I say it ends. I will end our curse by destroying the world. You must realize that is not Lady Maynard's wish. That's why she left us her legacy, our whole world. Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need for gods. Egil! Stop this! Face me, Shulk, successor of Xanza. I'll crush the Bionis and spread its ashes across the world. Then I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then. Will there be peace? You will perish at my hand! Oh, 
How could this happen? <sighs> Do it. Kill him. Kill him. That voice. Who is that? Strike him, him down. down. I will. I'll kill him. A thousand times. Yes. Finish him. End it. It is what you want. Yes. I want to. I'll kill him. For Fiora. For the Emperor. For my home! You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap Did you for brain! you kill a hom, Mr. Beatus? I want you to I once wished only I to break the I circle stop. of suffering. Until I've he scrapped believed. each and every one world. of you! Mayna, the villagers, the everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. It. The way it is what so you want. To Mayna, and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! No! Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know, but I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... we understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Egil. Why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Meconis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Meconis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds, worlds we have never imagined by strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Hey, Gil. I wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mechonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas. Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done, were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Meconis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. And 
one day, it took control of my friend, Arglas, and he became Zanza. It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Shouldn't have done that, little brat. Shulk! Dixon! Why? Why, old man? Are you completely out of your mind? Ah, don't you kids ever shut up. I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's... Disciple. Zanza's Disciple? Eggle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. The moment of Lord Zanza's return. Shulk! Get away from him! No! Ah! Zanza! I won't let you do this! Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ose Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? 
Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What?! My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them, so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend? Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that grunt Gado's miserable demise. All of it. You evil... Yeah! <laughs> There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Mayneth, the Mechonics! Moves. Uh. I've been waiting, waiting for this day. Sansa! Brother, stop! You're too weak. I don't care. I will gladly sacrifice myself to eliminate Xanda. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us, or for the people of Bionis. Ha! Then you shall cease to exist. By the wrath of my blade! It's... the Monado. The meaning of wrath! What? It's finished!
put their differences aside. Meaningless sentiment. Zenza! Right, now, yeah! How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned. Finally unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided. I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Zanza, if you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! This battle is mine, Maynard! Is that all you... <laughs> is that all you've got? Fair <laughs> play! I feel... Is that all you've got? You are a pack! You're mine! Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god. And you talk of sharing this world with me. So that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria clinging to my body. They are living beings. If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god. Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god maker. May you rot in that shell for all eternity. Fiora! Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Such a fool. This is what I wish. This world belongs to you all.
Create a world with no need for gods. This is the passage of fate. Zenza, disappear! He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. <laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation! your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. Uh. Now go. Shulk can still be saved. Do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished. Megil, go in peace. Let's go. We're leaving the Maconis. Ryan, take care of Shaw. Got it. Ah, oh, you okay? Yes. Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go. Dun Dun, what about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone! Goodbye, my brother. desperate to cling to your pathetic lives, even when there is no hope for you!
Shulk. For both our worlds, you must succeed. Lady Maynard. Not getting away! Dixon! Listen, it's over. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough! Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you! Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this, ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Egil said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple. Dixon of the Trinity! You waste of space! Not so tough without Shulk, eh, stupid beast? You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you all right? Brother! Kalyan! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! 
Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right, Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't, Lorathea. Awaken, my darling pets. Telethia! Brother! Melia! Lorothea! Let him go! You misunderstand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself! It's just like she says. The High Entia are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why. You are our only hope! Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're gonna get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pets. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. <laughs> Brother! Brother! Just hold on! I'll find a way to save you! M Melia! So sorry! I always placed such a heavy burden on you! But at least I can still shoulder the destiny of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <laughs> of the High Entia are in your hands, yours and Shulk's. <gasps> Telethia, destroy him! Dixon! I got it. Too late! Damn him!
Oh. So I'm... <laughs> what was I doing? What was the purpose of my life? No. I've got it wrong. I was never alive. It was Zanza. All along. I... Everything I did was... Do you want to say... pointless? <laughs> that voice... Nobody else can decide that. Only you. Shulk. Here. Mikol made you a wonderful new weapon. Since you lost your Monado, I mean. It uses the latest Machina technology. Use it when you wake up. Then, let's all go on living. We've relocated the Hyentia and the Nopon refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body, the Bionis. Well, this is our home. Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyentia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part Homs like me. Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Kallion would leave the fate of the Hyentia to you if that was gonna happen. Precisely. And Melia, if we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once high into you. Your subjects, and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the soul stolen by Zanza. You're a fighter, Melia. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. How shulk. He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. What if the Telethia attack? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanza. It is Zanza's will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. 
whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Hans. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting. Not till the end. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. <sighs> Viola. <sighs> Sorry. I need to go and get some air. Hmm. <sighs> Fiora, are you all right? Guess I wasn't hiding it well. I didn't want to worry anyone. It must be difficult living with that body. I'm getting more and more used to it. But people still look at me funny. Oh, it's not that bad. It feels pretty comfortable, actually. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body... The energy from the chest component made it work. It turned out to be a Monado. Such a strange feeling. A Monado? Was that the Monado that Zanza took from Maynith? Will your body cease to function? I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? If I ever... Please take care of Shulk. Don't talk like that! How can you ask me such a thing? I... I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You're right. Thank you, Melia. If Shulk awakes, will you tell him? No. He worries too much anyway. <laughs> he does worry. It's just like him. Actually, I'm already dead. I have been since the Mechon attacked. Fiora. But I'm happy now. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while longer. Do you feel that strongly for him? Yes. That's why I'll fight on and help him in any way I can. Let's get back. Everyone will start worrying. Yes. You are right. And Melia. Can you keep it secret from the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Maybe I'll tell him. But only when the time is right. I won't say a word. I'm nothing compared to her. That siren? Is that? 
Telethia! A horde of them are approaching! Let's move! Gotcha! I'm going too! But Shulk needs you! I know! But I can't just stay here! What if something happened to you? What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure? Survived. Dixon! That's right. Glad to see me. Shut up! <laughs> Looks like that high emptiest big bro died for nothing. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. You'll meet him soon enough. You might even be reborn if you return to Lord Zanza. Who knows? He might be your boyfriend next life. You will not mock the memory of my brother! You lot don't know when you're beaten. Why don't you just give up? It's my decision. In order to perpetuate their existence, Zanza and Mayneth must use a being they created as a physical host. They cannot exist forever as mere souls, this world was created so that they may continue to exist. It is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands. This is the passage of fate and your visions. People live and die at the mercy of Zanza, and through this, Zanza maintains the existence of this world. Our destruction was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now wishes to destroy you? What is the need for this? That's because... He in fact has no choice but to do it. If he does not, he risks his entire existence. And we're the source of that risk. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. The lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. I couldn't save everyone. Nothing that exists is perfect. It is a sad truth, but you can learn from it and begin the journey on a new path. Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, decide, Shulk. Will you walk the path laid out by Zanza, or will you walk a new path? The Monado awaits you. That was always how it was going to be. If I'd wanted to walk the predetermined path, I wouldn't have come this far. Even with the odds stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. My own path, that I decide. Fiora, Rhine, Dunvan, Sharla, Melia, Ricky. We all feel the same. Well then, you must defy fate to succeed. 
succeed and follow a new path. Alvis, are you? You already know. You know what I am and what you must do. These things don't give up. Ricky never lose. Ricky protect Colony 6. Right. We can't let them get any further. You know the drill. Take them down. Oh, yeah. Monado, kid. More space between Zanza and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing okay. Ryan is correct. Perhaps we relied too much on the Monado and Shulk. Right. We've chosen to fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. <laughs> Look at them struggle. <laughs> if they can't even handle a few telephia, how do they expect to defeat me? <sighs> this is not the end! Are you okay? I just overdid it. Fiora. I'm okay. I can still fight. Why are you bothering to try and cover it up? Go on, just admit you've had enough. Never! Look out! Bloods of dino beasts! Yeah. It truly seems as though everything is going. As Sansa planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the will to seize our own destiny. No matter how hard you try to break us, the future is ours to shape, Dixon! Always! When will you learn you have no future? Face it! Your destiny is to die here! he gone and done now time for me to get my hands dirty Shulk, look out huh <sighs> oi 
kid. It's about time for your final lesson. Dixon. Show me what you've got. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zadza? Let's see how you do against me. Could he read my movements? What the hell's going on? Shulk! How'd you do it? I could see it. The future. I don't have the Monado. But it came to me, Ryan. From within. Nice one! Looks like we're back in business. <laughs> Bunch of ingrates. Oi! Stop hiding and get yourself out here. I don't appreciate being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! What? It can't be. Alvis! Not you too! Yeah, another one of Lord Zanza's faithful. One of the Trinity. No! How can he be one of them? Alvis! Is this the only reason you served under my family? You traitor! Oi! Say something! Shulk! Leave it. It doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't change anything at all. Does it? Alvis? Yes, precisely. You must find your own path to the future. But Alethia, he's... Probably just another one of Sansa's lapdogs. Get ready, everyone. Show them no mercy. As you wish. Let us see that will to survive. Backslash! 
tough without your pet, are ya? <laughs> I'll show you the will to survive! <laughs> Meddling kids. I have seen your will to fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you? Or to Zanza? Well... <laughs> Either way is good with me. But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same. And he sees everything. As you see, Shulk. It's like he says. Ah! Get back here! You understand. Don't you, Shulk? Yeah. You can bet on it. We'll be waiting. We'll be on our best behavior. And we will be the best guests you ever had. Ah, that's quite a good comeback. I'm impressed. I'm trembling. Me. Stupid meddling kid. <laughs> After all these years, I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? I have. She said she was going out to get some air. I don't think she went far. Thanks. I'll take a look. <sighs> Fiora, here you are. Oh, Shulk. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. It's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. I wonder why Alvis said what he did. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Why would he side with Zanza? Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever? Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's another reason why I have to find Zanza. I have to find out why. You and me both. I must fulfill Maynard's wish. Shulk. 
talk? You wanted to speak to me about something. Oh, that's right. Leonardo's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey, um, can you go ahead? I'll go and see Leonardo in a minute. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Oh, thank you. What can I do? If I go to see Leonardo, she'll find out what's happening to my body. I need to come up with a good excuse. Oh, please, let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. Zanza is inside the Bionis. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. Yes, and Alvis too. That's all good, but how do we get to them? If they're inside the Bionis, we're gonna need to dig a pretty big hole. How long that take? Ricky get old soon. It just so happens I have the answer. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. It's the wound made by Agil's final attack. Then that means... Yes. While the Allied force keeps the Telethia busy, you can sneak inside that wound and take out Zanza. We will take Junks. Let my father know when you are ready to depart. Yeah! Time to knock some heads! Ricky never lose! For Ricky family, Ricky win! We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! Ready. We go to the Bionis chest. We will free our world from Zanza's curse. It's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza and stop him. Well, your highness. That voice. It's Lorathea. Show yourself. Look at that. The heart of the Bionis. The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Quit your yapping and show yourself. I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. <laughs> Lorithea, what are you planning? Forget her for now. We must push on to the heart. All right. Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. And that's why we're here. 
Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Hmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. Kalian! Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. He is my adorable servant. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of the word telepia? It means that which eliminates impure life. Impure life, just like you. That which Lord Zanza does not require shall be extinguished from this world. Enjoy this battle, for it will be your last.
vanish from this world. to see you. I too, Melia. Brother, I must apologize to you and to everyone. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I... I... You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> you are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and Father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. It was our choice. Brother... There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish. In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. No! My Telethia! You! What have you done? I have done nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity! Ah, my body! No! I was promised immortality! Ah! Brother... Melia... At long last I can be with father. You must now live your own life. The path you forge, the future you choose. That is the hope of the High Entia. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay with me forever. His words? Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. Oh, Callian say, hope of bird people. Hmm, where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. Ricky. You too heard his parting words. Thank you. Melia. Thank you for your concern. I am all right. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will, together. 
<laughs> Such a brave princess. <gasps> Dixon! Don't look at me like that. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot. And that's how you welcome me. What do you mean? I'll be waiting at Prison Island. I've picked out a lovely place to return your flesh and blood to the Bionis. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. <laughs> I'm gonna... Come on, everyone! We've got to get to Prison Island! Okay. Hey! Is this... It's Prison Island. So it has sunk into the Bionis' head. Oh, Dundon. Ricky feel funny feeling from above. Ricky instincts say Dixon is there. Yes, I agree. Stop praying to Zanza, Dixon. We're coming! What took you so long? Dixon! Are you even trying to fight? Things are gonna get a lot worse if you don't buck up your ideas. Come down here and say that! What on Bionis is that? <sighs> it's the warm-up act. If you can't get by this one, you don't stand a chance against me. Stop these games, old man! You'll have to stop this thing first. Hurry up! I'm just itching for a good old-fashioned scrap. <sighs> Everyone, be careful. Monster want to eat, Ricky! This thing is no match for us.
Where are we? What is this place? It looks like a cathedral. There's an altar over there. These have scary faces. Hmm. We better take a look. You see something, Shulk? This indentation. It looks like something should fit inside it. Yep. Ricky feel like something here. It's probably a way up to the top. Could it really be that easy? There's no use thinking about it. Let's search for whatever fits into the gap. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. Are you ready to go on? Yes, I'm ready.
Aren't you scared? I would be lying if I said no. But still, we must go on. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. We decided ages ago. <laughs> Dunban? Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Come on, Dunban. Right, let's go. Time to seize our destiny. Defend this place until they get back. That's the plan, so stick to it. Uh, understood. Ah! 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 <laughs> Dixon! Kept me waiting a while, Shulk. Waiting? For us to fight you? Yeah, that's what it's come to. Or will you just shut up and let me kill you? We'll never do that. Just as I expected. Hmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. I've been working for Lord Zanza since the beginning. I raised you purely so he could live on. I know. And I must thank you for granting me such power. It's all down to you that I'm standing here, ready for you now. Enough talk, boy. <gasps> Dixon! If you're so determined to stop us, then we will kill you! Finally! A bit of action! Cut some fight in you then! Here we go! Backslash! Ah. Leave it to me! Ah. Full force! My turn! Maybe I underestimated you lot! Nice! We did it! Ah. Oh, that's a good one! We can definitely do this! Cut them fighting, you then! Cut them fighting, you then!
This is getting boring. You worms are no match for me. Ah! I see you've inherited Maynet's power. Not her power. Huh? I've inherited her memories. That's why I fight you. Fiora! Memories, huh? And what good are those meant to be? Can't use memories to kill anyone. Why are you fighting? You're helping Zanza to create a world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? <laughs> Only those with power have the right to decide such things. You're wrong. Zanza just tells me where to fight and I fight. And that's how I like it. Is that your reason? For fighting? It's the only reason. Maynath wished for a world where the peoples of Bionis and Mechonis could live hand in hand. You will never get away with this! Is that right? Then what are you gonna do about it in that feeble body? <laughs> That body doesn't have a Bernardo anymore. Who knows how much life it's got in it? Hey, better say uh, goodbyes. It can't be. I'm fine. Uh, I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora. Well then, we better make this quick. Ah! What's that? Little boy lost his Monado and can't do a thing without it. Be careful. Well, you can't. It's time to learn your play. <gasps> Did you not say that you wanted to be with Shulk? Do not throw your life away for this scoundrel! She's right. You have to take what you want. There's no point in dying! You're nothing! Shulk! Show him what you're made of! Come on, man! You don't need the Monado to take down this piece of scum. Ah. No, Ricky, no. Ricky, no Shulk brave. Ricky want to see the old Shulk. Shulk is real hero pon. Shulk! Real power comes from within. Believe in your own true strength, Shulk. Everyone. Shulk. It's time, Shulk. Let's finish this. I will not fail. With your faith in me and our strength combined, we can do this. Sir, you ever gonna make this worth my while? Can't be that power. I won't give you that chance to use that power. Take this! Electric gun! I ain't holding back anymore. Oh, 
Fighting you then. I'm done. I'm going home. Dixon! I just wanted the power of a god. This martyr stuff's not for me. Go! I ain't gonna risk my life to stop ya. Get back here! You expect us to let you go? What? Enough. It's Sansa we're after, not him. Uh, okay. so strong. I ain't gonna let you see me die. I won't give you the satisfaction of victory. See ya, kid. Looks like the student finally surpassed the teacher. Shulk. His wounds.
Why? Why can I not see any further? Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. Why does the vision end here? Huh? So Dixon has passed. Lorothea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods. <laughs> there is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! Where are we? What happened? At night time. Is Ricky have bad dream? Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either.
It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? So, you finally made it, Shulk. <gasps> it's you. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh. Welcome, Shulk. That voice! It's Zanza! But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings! Playthings? Yes! You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them, I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Bionis is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still confined you to Prison Island. That is how limited you are. Confined me? I was merely resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynath's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until... I was born. Precisely. I intended to inhabit your body, and once again do battle with Maynath. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynath... You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. 
choke. Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs in a world without you. That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world, that is a right possessed only by gods. Is that why you laid waste to Maconis? Of course. Along with the beings called Machina, who followed Maynard. They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. But granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world, just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you! Wipe you from this world and bring forth this demise! More enemies hate our efforts! Roger! Gotcha! Shape the future. Uh, 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 you can definitely do this. Uh, uh, we move the same pace. 
Yantaman. Oh, mine is the one true Monado. Instrument of destruction and rebirth. Behold the power of the Monado. This is the power of a god. Visions. You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That, that is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Can it be? It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third Monado has appeared. How can this have happened? You are mere mortals! Your existence cannot be permitted. I will destroy you! Everyone, feel the flow of the light. 
of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power determined by providence. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice! Albus! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. And I will proclaim the end. But that... That's impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago. That symbol. Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then... Seize our destiny! All that I am is faded. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. Is my home. Your home? Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice? It's Maynath. Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine. It 
was simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maynath were lonely, so they created life in their own image. And that was how we were born. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future, and our future, it might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. But that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. That is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god. What is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, <laughs> he's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. That's our world. <sighs> Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. This world has little time remaining if left in this state. Have you made your decision? The choice is yours, creator. Tell me your decision. 
for the future of this world. I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods! Trying to kill me? Oh, I'm really sorry, Colonel. Sorry? What do you mean, sorry? Squat jumps around the entire colony. Fifty laps now. Please, Colonel. Ah, yes, that's excellent. So you can take the materials to District Four. The restoration's coming along nicely. Thanks to Melia and Venea. The High Entier and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. To live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt, this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Hear, hear. And may it last forever. Dumban? Fiora! What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Fiora? Yes? Uh... It's nothing. Good luck. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing! It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here now yes we're happy you're here too thanks melia for everything i'm glad i met you <laughs> and i you
impossible. Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. There it is. Melia, we're in sight of Alchemar. All right, I'm on my way. I guess we're still in one piece. Quite. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Those voices. Uh, are those?
It's Kino and Nene. What are they doing here? Shulk, we must help them. Of course. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting for children of here upon Ricky's household. No injuries, Kino. Hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. Oh, really? Most interesting. Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. This place looks promising. We can take a break here. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how did you even get here at all? Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So... Ah... So that is where the Junks comes in, then. I appreciate it. But... Even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Mama? Maybe better to explain. Mm. 
on. Uh, we're just on a little strolly stroll when we suddenly hear voices. Now, now, Kino. Nene, watch Kino with eyes of Rogel. Kino, follow Mr. Shop from behind and do some sneak peekings. No, no, Sister Pong, follow Kino and sneak peek on too. Me, me, me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Kino, always look up to Dedapon. Want to become mighty Hiropon, too. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. But how did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way, can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. Or so Dedapon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. It's, it's not for the sister poem. He's not scored Nene. What is of Kino only? Kino. Sincere sorries. Kino wanted to repay debt. That upon a mom upon take Kino in when Kino all alone. You were alone. Is truth. One day, out of blue, Dad upon bring Kino home. Said, here is brother upon. That day, nobody made comment. Everyone except Kino. Kino, what happy they could say. That why, that why. That why want to become hero upon and repay debt to family. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For really? Uh-huh. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes, about that. Hmm? It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Porcino! It all starts here! Mahay! See, you've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alkamoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. 
It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. The Fog King? Yeah. Suddenly showed up in Alchemoth a few months back. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghost not shoot beams, dum-dum. So that's why you call it the Fog King? We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the Hyentia and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital, so that we might live. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. <sighs> Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy, are you hard of hearing? I heard you. Then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already cost too many lives. <sighs> Maxis. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. Now what? Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. So this means we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the Personal Protection Division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the Majesty. Perish the thought, Your Majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. Hmm. I have no patience for wheedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the Majesty address is burdensome to me. If you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind, Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar, we really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis. Hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one.
To begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. The device is configured in such a way that only some of the Hyentia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! Kind thanks, Birdmister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar, this outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel Ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the Machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. You couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. <sighs> Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gelgar. We will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Sir Gelgar, thanks for this. See you friend later. Please to be extra careful of self. The same to you all.
You okay? Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tammy hurty? No, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding, slowly but steadily. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Quite. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. Those who bear grudges. Though joy for them is still scarce, I thought only of me. But you didn't, not at all. The high end here of Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy hat. Kino lose that upon a mama pump, but still full of bounce. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. Sis! What the, what the, why you bring that up? They're completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino, not your up, Miss Melly. Agree to disagree. The, 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 the anyway, cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. To become the hope of the High Entia is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. You are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. 
Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Friends, thank you. I think I can finally see now what my role here is. Onwards, to Alchemoth. Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Transporter! Over here! Huh? What is it? The transporter is running. So it is. But how? Maybe somebody activated it. In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. Good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some reading. Housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. Wha what is that thing? Look like hole in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That Fog King creature. Is it from... It's a possibility. In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and tell to face? Bye bye bye! Gotcha! Little joke there. No, no, big meanie! Mama? A child's voice. Where? Up there!
child is in danger. Quickly. Are you all right, child? Wait, Teelan. Ah, oh, Miss Melia. You too, Shulk. How... how did you... We can talk later. It covered in black fluffy mist. So that scary king of fog? Yeah, maybe so. Let's give it our all. We can only hope. Look! The rift! It's... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that beam! What about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Then that would mean... It looks like we found our Fog King. Yes, I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. Understand. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Mama! Melia! Kino! Leave to me! Eat face full of pain! Be gone! King of fog, bright dust! <sighs> it is just as Max has said then. Melia, let's pull back! That would seem wise. Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsom said. Though, I don't think they realize it themselves.
Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh, sorry, miss. He get told? Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck in to gather research material. But then I tripped over some rubble and, uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah. I was given special permission, so I could conduct my research. That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister. Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back. Yeah. Oh, hey! My lab's over on the far end of Zen's thoroughfare. You want to come with? We can talk more there, where it's safe. You have your own laboratory. Not as grand as my old one, mind. We still don't understand the Fog King, or the monster that attacked Teelan. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. Teelan's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked... Ah, oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog Beasts always appear around the Fog King, so the name seemed appropriate. Makes sense. Right, I'll be going on ahead. You won't be guiding us on the way. I need to clean up, else there won't be anywhere to stand. All right, see you. Hey, wait! He's gone now. What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. Huh? He got told. He probably has it coming. Thrice damned fools. They think to second guess the will of the divine. How many times have I told you, you do not go there alone? But... I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? If something happened to you, we would lose everything. <sighs> Tyrea? Melia? Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis. Tyrea's your... big sis. Right. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea. I didn't expect to see you here, helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well... Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters, then? Sisters? No. 
It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Hmm. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? Hmm? I've only known her here, in this place, so I've got to wonder how she was before. She... she was... She was strong, both in body and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. Wow! Pretty much the same as how she is now, then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Fog King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Before the Fog King showed up? Yeah. And then, after we all escaped, I was kind of on my own. So Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Teelan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Is that so? I'm sorry. Tulan just like Kino. Brave little pun. I think I'll get some air too. Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Tulan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. It shan't be long. Miss Melly, Kino go too. Kino, please read room. Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here, how did you... Pure chance? After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia, and survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. Or so I thought. Until fate had me save Teelan, and death ceased to be an option. Your mother, she did not grant you a dying place. She gave you a future by crossing your path with Teelan's. My helping with Teelan's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Teelan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High Entia, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war. No. Empress, now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Empress Melia, so you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. Miss Molly, 
You here? Did you learn anything from Teelan? Hmm. A little. He said that for all the details, we ought to talk to Radzum in Grandel. Meeting should be no problem. Teelan say he sent word to guard at Grandel ramparts to let friends through. Before we visit this Radsum, I have something I wish to discuss with you all. What is matter now? The High Entia who live here now have lost all hope for the future. I have a duty. As the Imperial successor, I must safeguard their future. This will sound selfish, I know, but will you stand with me? Of course I will, Malia. Kino, too. And also Nene. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Right. Off to Grandel we go. Greetings. We have heard from Teelan that a man called Radsum lives within these walls. Ah, friends of Teelan's, are you? We've been expecting you. Go on, in you get. You're letting us straight through. You don't look particularly concerning, is all. These walls are imposing, but they aren't here for controlling foot traffic. They're to keep savage monsters from having themselves a rampage. Most sensible. Well, we'll be going then. Thankings! Sorry for time taking. Splendid Ormu! Oh, it's true! Scales so shiny and sparkly! It looks the same as any Ormu, if you ask me. Different subtle. Sure is. Really? Pardon me. Have you come from Companion's Cape, by any chance? We've just come from the laboratory. But we were at the Cape just before that. And was everyone there all right? Yes, it seemed to me. Thank goodness. That's a relief to hear. Is something wrong? You may be aware, but originally, we all lived here together as a group. But then, some left because there are machina here. Exactly. At first, we managed to tolerate each other in relative harmony. Obviously, we had our share of friction. What happened? Well, the final straw was something trivial. The Companions tried all sorts of ploys to retake the capital, but none of the plans succeeded. Many soldiers were lost this way. One Machina had had enough and told them to just give up. And that's when it happened? Yeah. They shouted, if you rust rats hadn't betrayed us, we wouldn't have lost our brethren and our homes in the first place. 
things got heated. And then they left and didn't look back. They shouldn't have forgotten that we all lost. Friends, family, and homes. They're soldiers, ma'am. In the war, they put everything on the line for their country. And so... When their country was taken from them, the extent of their anger and resentment was fully understandable. Yes. Still, we who stayed behind don't bear them any grudges. They protected us all for a long time, regardless of race. And bear in mind, in the end, they didn't cast the Machina out. They left the safety of our walls of their own volition. That's why we pledged that if they chose to return, we'd welcome them back and meet them with a smile. I will do whatever is in my power to make it so. Nay, nay, why I sweat it. Inflammation of tear ducts. By the way, we have heard that someone by the name of Ratsum lives here. Ratsum? Yes, he lives over there. Over there. Thank you. Very kind. It was Ratsum, actually. He was the one who told the Companions to give up their quest. Right. I see. All right. Let's go and see him straight away. Yes, let's. Are you perchance Ratsum? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Teelan mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Teelan sent you. Him and Tyrea are still getting on okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did warn him not to be reckless. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. To be honest, so does Tyrea. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Teelan. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Etherfield? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now. The Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there, to feed on the ether, and, as a result, keep the threat contained. All oh, this hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. But my ether, it worked against Fog Beasts, but not the Fog King. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk, Melia, would you do me a favor and head to Teelan's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, we heard that you spoke out against the Companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. 
their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide watching them throw away more lives for nothing. Nothing? Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here. But now? Well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. If we end up extinct, we'll have won nothing. Well spoken. But I'm sure the companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. They seem to be catching on too. After all, they've stayed put since then. When you put it like that, The people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes, and with no means of return. Hmm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes. But they're feeling desperate, and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes, we were. Is that true? Hmm. But we learned, eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk, the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal. Defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. Sounds like job for Hero Blanquino. Just let Nene at him. Thank you, everyone. Mama Matt, what that thing? Is that...? It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. What is happening over there? Beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. 
What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. Oh no, Grandel! Oh. What is matter? The Armus could turn into fog beasts. Meh, meh! No one to picture that! Must hurry to rescue! was right, Melia. Yes. Although, the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Radson, are you fine? Miss Melia, these are moves. It was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right you are. Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as reward. Real hereupon never has compensation. Will it say that? Shulk, was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Armu's transformation? Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case, if the rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. Villain! What do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you. And our work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Oh! Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. 
You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history. So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. I will take dominion over all, and the world will be set to right. I know I am not wrong. I'm not. I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No! The lab! Melia! Miss Melia! No! Idiot! <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon! Vixus, help! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today! Are you okay, Talon? Telethia, here! Damn! house. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Melia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child! I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet... Ultimately, it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That 
that's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome. We found it in the tomb. Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan. Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? You know, you use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely excessive. <laughs> 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 This might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief! Miss Molly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you, big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just... don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her... She figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle, so really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts, but not against the Fog King. That's because the ether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, dum dum. But Kino's so bored. The whole thing got me wondering. Why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Teletheus ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Teletheus, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high-purity ether crystals, except... Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Hey!
What's up? Let's keep it brief. So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Mm. Gradsum, sir! Fog beasts have broken through the gates! They're through! <sighs> if only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha! Rabble won't stand a chance, not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. You go no further. Yeah. Fleet for life is no use. Kino make you full of holes. And Nene teach you better manners. Definitely do this! 
the gates. We beat them this time. But the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! Situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. Yea. As soldiers of the High Entia, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. <laughs> I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please. Trust me, Ratsum. I'll be right here, trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! <sighs> if the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me! You head straight for the Cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's... You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea. Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. Come on, we make for the Companion's Cape.
One step is too many times! I think that's all of them. We're in the clear. Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Let's go through this again. Hi, Entia, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom! Uh, fuck be sighted! To arms! They're all just... gone. What? But how? How are you? All well? I yeah. What the hell are you? Never you mind that. We've come to make a request. Time is of the essence. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? If you're asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Indeed. Then you must know why that's not an option. What if I said, Grandel is besieged by fog beasts? Are you serious? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. And the villagers? Are they safe? Yes. For the time being. But not for much longer. You don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. No. I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were it, then... Well, I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the Guard. You need not. But it's not as simple as you make it out. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? What matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons. But you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. Hmm. Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yes, but our home is right there, even if we cannot live in it now. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... We left them for dead. How can we possibly... It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late. Or you'll regret it. <clears throat> Maxis, I'm going with these people. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? <sighs> You're damn good. All right, I'm in. So you're with us? Truly. Yes. But it wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. My family needs me. Fine. As you wish. Birdman pain in bomb bomb. 
Real feather brain. Princess Brat! No sign of Miss Maya yet? Not so far! Damn! Bunch of new hostiles closing in! I guess the lot from the Cape really left us for dead. Miss Tarea, it's all over. Please pull back! Not just yet! Stand firm! Believe in our brethren! Believe! In your new leader! The man! There's only so much you can do! When you see me fall, abandon this place and withdraw into Grand Dell! He kept us waiting. You big jerk. Lady Melia! She's back! And it looks like she brought the companions with her! Let's clear a path! Maxis, thank you. Ha! Huh. It's me who should be thanking you, Ransom. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. What are you talking about? If it weren't for your help, we'd all have kicked it ages ago. Is Melly looking for Tyrea? She go back after healing. Cannot put up with this sentimental manure. Was exact words. <laughs> Sounds just like her. To a T. Lady Melia, I'm glad we trusted you. We owe you a debt for our lives. No, you have only each other to thank. Huh? Wait up, huh? Melia? Did he say Melia? Indeed. Surely not. You can't be THE Melia Antiqua. Antiqua? Uh, yes. I do get called that sometimes. I... that... no. What? That means... Your... Your Highness is the Crown Princess Melia. Do you need a minute, Maxis? Impudence! This girl is the true-born child of our late Emperor Saurian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? It was not my intent to deceive. 
I thought if I announced myself, it could bring hope, but it could also bring despair. What our people need now is hope only. Hence the discretion. I'd appreciate if you treated me normally. Right. That is enough of that. Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. You won't. You companions will join Tyrea and guard Grandel from Fogbeast Incursion. But that's... Listen to me, Maxis. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand well. But, for the sake of those fallen, you must protect the living. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> the companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. It's the only way. I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. Lady Melia, take care. Absolutely. Maxis and his companions. They're counting on us, too. Yes. Let us perform the enhancements at Radsom's. May we, Radsom? Ah. Oh. Only too gladly, Miss Melia. It's ready. Ha! Huh? What? We've not changed much. Still same. Quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. These are Fog King numbered! Well, it is time. Please come back safe. But to prepare this wall, wait! Tilan, not to cause mischief in meantime, okay? So, you did it. Thanks to you, and to Tilan. Strength and honor, friend. We will do our best. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it. Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Except... The transporters. They don't mean a damn thing to it. Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. Is that...? I used this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. We'll keep guard here, don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? All right. I won't let you down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Nene got friends and friends of friends. That line of hero Ponkino! You brave few who venture forth, we salute you!
Kingo fault right here. Fog King looking awfully foggy today. I would guess it correlates with the widening of the rift. It changes nothing. The time is now. Lend me your strength. The future belongs to us. King of Folk will no name of Hero Bob Hero. Monster in for proper bashing. What's wrong? The sky. The rift is expanding. Mama, something not right. Foggy fluffies are coming together. Not take no for answer. What is the meaning of this? It must be drawing its strength from the rift. And now it's even bigger. <laughs> In other words, if we could close the rift, we might have a chance. It's possible. But first, Let's do all that we can here. You're right. This is all over Kino's head. What does Hero Burn fight against impossible odds is natural like breathing. Fine then. Time to dish out extra medicine and fish events you with cherry on top. Take 
For whatever reason, those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift. Incredible. They saved us. Fine. Time to finish this. Please, buy me some time. Hmm. Grant me your strength, friends. is safe. Finally. It is.
They're waiting for you, Melia. Does this world need a coronation? I just don't see the point. Don't say that. It is the will of the people. It will mark the birth of a new era. You'd also have been a fine choice. Yes, well. I'm occupied with my research, as you know. Empress Melia. Don't mock me. Here we go. Yes.